Welcome to Shardcast, the Brandon Sanderson podcast. We're a bunch of mega fans giving you the news discussion and, of course, a lot of opinions about Brandon's works and the Cosmere. I'm Eric, and joining me is Evgeny. Hi, my name is... Oh, no. Grump. <laughs> Great. Cool. Also known as... Which one was Grump? Galadon. <laughs> No, my name is Argent. Great. Uh, also joining us, we have Grace. Hello, uh, I am a thinker, also known as Gator Girl. <laughs> wow, nice. Look, I just oh, started this, you know. That's Demu. No, that's Demu. Yeah, that's that's not Gator Dimo. Girl. Sorry. Demu. And uh, I, I guess you have one of one option. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> hi, hi. Yes, I'm Rosar. I forgot what the third nickname is, so... It's blunt. Okay, I guess. You're blunt. I, I was going to make a joke about how not any of them, because there are no girls in the 17th shard, but no. Grace took one already, so... There, there are, in fact, no girls in the 17th shard. Very sausagey. Oh. Yeah, it's like, we, we know, like, four characters, and they're all dudes. <laughs> and, and, if you think about it, Hoy did draw that the the male genitalia, so maybe that's yeah. because it's a sausage club. Did you think about that? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it all it all connects. It's all connects. It's all connected in the Cosmere, baby. Uh, yes, as, as you can all see, we have a very sane episode today for oh, you. Oh, look, yeah, we're. Uh, I'm chaos, by the way. Hey, what's up? We're talking today about the interlude from. Dragon Steel that Brandon read, which was absolutely insane. We have no outline at all. So we're just, <laughs> this is just going to be chaotic. I don't know how long it's going to be. Is it going to be a short episode? Is, are we, are we just going gonna... to go off on some fairly related tangent? Is it going to be three hours? Yes. It's possible. <laughs> it's possible. The, the, answer, oh, it's... the answer to the tangent question is yes, absolutely. Yes, oh. yes. I, I wouldn't mind if it's not three hours, though. That'd be that'd be nice. But you know, we'll 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 just see where things take us. We, you know, we're we're headed to the the fifth the fifth uh, the fifth land tangent. The fifth lands. The fifth, the fifth, the fifth tangent. tangent. The fifth tangent land. Kusakesh is going to lead us. So also, Happy New Year, because this episode is coming out on New Year's Eve. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, this is after State of the Sanderson, which we haven't done that live stream yet. So I don't know what we talked about, but uh, so we're not going to go through Dragon Steel like news per se, because I think Brandon's just going to write it all in State of the Sanderson. But I think news wise, the con is now in December. And it's a Thursday, Friday, Saturday for 2024, oh. which is great. Ooh. I like that. And so Stormlight 5, December 7th, 2024. We, we probably talked about everything else from on the State of the yeah. Sanderson episode, but Dragon Steel was good. Uh, presumably, I, I've recorded an unboxing video of all the crap I bought, uh, which was which is great. That was a lot of it, though. <laughs> yeah, let me let me show you a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's do show and tell. So I have I have a little oh, yes. piece of verdant. Yes, yes. Uh, which which I love, which you could get at the con if you bought some uh, some stuff from Howard Lyon. And who's very nice? Oh, is I that? Bought... I really just thought your glasses were like bent out of shape. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Jess and I have them too. I don't know where it is though. Uh, and so I got I got like a little little postcard thing and and some stickers which are somewhere uh all of all of that behind me by the way is is stuff from the con that i'll be showing in the coming months <laughs> that's that's the show and tell table <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, there there's a reason they haven't gone up to uh up to uh where i store all my stuff nice nice uh, good. but uh famous uh fandom artist botanica uh, sent us some stuff, us the 17 shard that we were distributing at the booth. And so there is this collection of Cosmere oh. characters uh, oh, from great. their Cosmere fan, Cosmere zine uh, dot .com. If you want to check that out. I legitimately don't think I saw that at the con at all. And I went to our booth many times. 
Uh, I mean, it's possible that they ran out like they were. And so I have I have some of these in, in sticker form. Oh, Ooh, this is very shiny. Shiny, shiny Vasher. Shiny Vasher. Works for Vasher. Ah, yeah. That's true. It does work for Vasher. That's, that's true. Just, I like that. That's good. It, it's just it's, it's bichromatic aura, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's not surprising. Uh, Ooh. Shiny Kelsier. Yes, indeed. I like that. With his own biochromatic aura. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's and sure. Yeah. A shiny Chris. With her star marks. Ooh. Nailed With it. With her star marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no longer star colors. Or sky colors. Sky colors, yes. It was sky yeah. colors before. You, we, you know, do, do you think it'll be star marks or sky colors in the white sand? Uh, I, I think it will be star marks. I, I, yeah. I, I think it will be star marks, but I want him to use both interchangeably. <laughs> It, you oh, know, yeah. he probably he will in earlier drafts, though. <laughs> he probably just, just, will. <laughs> just du dual cannon. Uh, oh, he, and then... he, he still writes silver instead of tin. Oh, yeah, consistently. <laughs> uh, and then I bought some things from uh, Katie Payne, who is mm. uh, a wonderful human being and also a wonderful artist. And one of the things that I bought were, I guess I got all the shiny merch today, uh, were these... Good thing you Secret... don't have the green screen up today, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, my my piece of verdant would have been would have been interesting mm. with the green screen. Uh, but oh I got yeah, these we bought those. Yeah, metal metal bookmarks, uh, Ooh, and each metal. one is themed after a different secret project i think we also got the the art piece that was all four of them together that yes we, we got so that. when you when you when you get the uh the bookmarks uh she gave you a a poster of of the art of yeah. all of them yeah is it I also did... metal uh no it's just a, a paper i didn't get to meet katie but uh every everyone was very nice at the con it was a great experience um i was i was so tired <sighs> um well this is the way and so I'd, I'd actually like to talk about my experience experiencing this interlude because see the, the thing with the con is that the release events, the one thing that's actually streamed. So you, you don't have, you don't have to wait for it. You, you don't have to sit in line for an hour and a half to go to a thing that you could just be in your room and watch. And so I felt very smart doing this. Okay. So Jess and I were like, we are so tired. We're going back to our hotel room. We'll pack. Brandon will talk. It'll be fine. And then I'll go to bed. It'll be great. He'll probably read something from Stormlight, I guess. Eh, well, fine. And we're getting this interlude. So th this will also be kind of the recap. If, if you want to look at the interlude, it's in the description. You can go check it out. And it's like, oh, cool. We get to see the 17 Charters. Oh, that, that's great. Oh, Yim, we got a Yim mention. This is exactly what I want from Stormlight 5 interludes. This is great. Uh, and then, so we, we go all, all, all along. We're, we're just having a good time. And then Kusakash just shows up and it's like, it's time. Let's go. It's, it's go time. It's time to go right now. <laughs> and we're leaving right now. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> and so anyway, after that ended and Jess and I are freaking out in the Discord chat, we're like, we need a drink. And so we stayed up way too late. <laughs> Just It's like, we need to go to a bar right now and hang out with people and talk about this because it was insane. Yeah. I so I was I was in live attendance in the audience uh, when when this was happening and I fully did not remember the last few paragraphs of this interview. <laughs> like I, I reread this or I guess read this for the first time a couple of hours ago. And there was one thing that like people had told me about. And I'm like, I don't remember that from when Brandon was reading. And there was one thing that I just was a hundred percent news to me. Uh, like my brain just, you just shook melted. whatever, whatever memory of this reading was in my head and just replaced parts of it with screaming noises. <laughs> and, and the thing oh, is, Brandon's I, like, ah, this isn't plot important. <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. I, I just happened to be listening. Like, I was just like at home and I like opened YouTube. I was like, oh, pretty good streaming. I'll just throw that on. Well, I think I maybe was like wiki editing at the time or something. And then like, 
Uh, then I got to the reading and like I was like, my I was just like my mind was blown. And then I I think I spent like the next three or four days unsuccessfully <laughs> trying to convince people to do a staff chat to like chat about the Cinder Loon. Yeah. That was that was the start of me bugging people to be like, hey, let's jump in voice. I wanna that's I wanna true. freak that's out about true. this. And then I it, it did I was not successful because most people were at the con. But you 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 did try and conspire with people to record this episode before <laughs> even the con ended, <laughs> I, I believe. You're like, I hey, didn't Paleo. have my recording equipment. Otherwise I probably would have been successful. I think Paleo was willing to record it. <laughs> that's true. He would he would have. <laughs> uh I you know, that's that's fine. Uh, we would have we staged a coup, but I yeah, didn't have okay. my recording equipment. It's right? treason then. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Put the put the gif on screen. I wasn't on the last Stormlight Five readings episode, which apparently went interestingly, Evgeny and Grace. <laughs> hey, people liked the episode. Now my fault. You still haven't seen it. <laughs> Look, <laughs> if I'm not editing the, I I don't I don't know what was said. I I I'm not gonna watch the Sunlit Man two episode. I I was on it. It's fine. I got stuff to do, but this this was fun because uh, this this was brand new. Apparently, Brandon wrote it just like literally like days before. <laughs> the, I I think I think insider knowledge listeners like two days before. Yeah, <laughs> so this is brand new. <laughs> and you know what? I'm gonna love if all the interludes are like this caliber right yes. of just like wrapping up interlude storylines for a big dramatic climax hell yes what if grace what if we yeah. see the sailors on the infinite sea that'd be fun that's gonna be no. a no Ooh, that that could that could that could i don't i don't know that that i don't think the book is gonna end on that big a cliffhanger i think that's like <laughs> stormlight six prologue Okay, like, but imagine how funny it would be if, like, it ended with a cliffhanger, and then we all knew that we have an entire Mistborn era and Elantris <laughs> sequence to get through before we get resolution on the cliffhanger. That's that that Brandon would do that, I think, actually. But yeah, I I, I, I feel not, like he said no. that it's gonna be more like of an ending than that. I don't think there's gonna be that big a cliffhanger. Well, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I think it will be more Final Empire than Well of Ascension. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's true. Or, I mean, Hero of Ages, let's be honest. Um, uh, no, I think Hero of Ages is too much wrap up, I think. Cause Hero oh, of okay. Ages I see what you're saying. Sure. The, yeah, but the Final sure. Empire still leaves a promise of, oh, we have things to do. You have things to do. Sure. That is fair. But I, I don't want an Aiden interlude in this book. <laughs> no, we can we can that story can be done. I I, I want hard hitting interludes where we touch on three different interludes and wrap them up because we got the charters. Yim's family. That's great. That's cute. Did Yim live in live in Cassidor? I guess he must have, yeah. I guess. Sure. I guess it was a little unclear originally, but clearly. And then Kuskesh, what if we see Axes in another interlude, guys? And Axes I, I is doing I something fully, crazy. Yeah, I fully expect that we'll we'll see Axes nah, again. The the interlude, like the, the ongoing interlude storyline is going to be just adding going about his day. No. Oh god. And then he's like, actually. I'm the champion. <laughs> uh, I, I am the child champion. I'm the child champion. <laughs> Just yes. combine combine everything that everyone hates and put it put it in one character. I mean, really, that sounds perfect for Odium's champion if you think right. About it. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then Dalinar smashes his head with a rock. <laughs> no, no, no. Not even the rock. Just grabs his head and just. No, bashes. we have to we have to make him more annoying. He Adin wins the duel somehow. No. Because True. of some nonsense. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I we like that. We have to turn up the annoying. Yes. And then he Dallas kills Race. Too late. And then Aiden becomes Odio. <laughs> or not Race, Terra Vagian. Race is you know already dead. About. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about. He, he goes back in time and it turns out that yeah, it was sure. him who yeah, killed let's time travel Race involved. and not Ravangian and Hash, Hashtag Adin not by Odium. Adin was just letting Taravangian think he's Odium mm. while in the in reality Adin was pulling the strings all along. What if we go back in time and get baby Aiden? <laughs> oh, and, and, and that's who's going to be killing Grace. 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. He was that annoying. <laughs> Everyone's tuned off to this episode already. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. The rest. The rest is actually interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just complaining about it. Someone's someone in the comments is gonna be and put, make sure you put this in the comments. Like, I really like Aiden. Someone Can't in the comments it. is gonna be like, "Who's Aiden? I don't remember that character." <laughs> yeah, also, put put in the comments if you remember the sailors on the Infinite Sea. If you're a long time Shardcast viewer, you know, you know. I think if you're a oh. long time Shardcast viewer, then the long long time Shardcasters are never going to let you forget about the sailors. Oh, uh, Grace, yeah. at least. Grace, for sure. That's true. Well, she hasn't she hasn't brought him up that much. That's true. But I'm bringing it up because Grace is here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we're going to get another Risen interlude. Oh, we, we, we have to get oh, another Risen we interlude. To. We get one every book. Yeah. Asterisk. I mean, with Rhythm of War, but... Risen. Yeah. yeah, I mean. Uh, it was close enough. Da the Dawn Shard yeah. Rhythm of War release date, like, that was weird. So Brandon did his best there. I think that was fun. I'm just I'm just going through um the the chap the book summaries and looking for like interlude characters. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we catch up with Vasher again. I think that we be fun. we do. Yeah, dude, a Vasher interlude would be yeah. awesome. I, f I honestly feel like Vasher just fell off the edge of the world after after the, his one chapter in Rhythm of War. So it would <laughs> yeah. be nice to you know, He's just, just like I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, but but that is you know he wanted to do that. Oh. Yeah, but like that feels like a thing, like what Brandon did with Gaz, right in Way of Kings, where Gaz just like vanished, mm -hmm. like, and then he came back in <sighs> Words of Radiance, right? You know, Guys, what if what? what if we get another Elista interlude? I I was thinking that. <sighs> I feel get... like I don't know. I I want these interludes to matter. So I'm not sure. How dare you? Wow, thanks for peeking that, buddy. I love that. <laughs> thanks. Thanks a lot. I can't adjust hey, that Elisa from over here. It did matter. Like, we all talk about the romance, but that was the setup for the translation of the Ilya yeah. Stella. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. And there, we know from other Stormlight 5 stuff that that romance novel is coming back. Right? Yeah, maybe they're... Yeah, sure. Sure. Well, but but it, it showed up in... in yeah. That that's that's uh, romance number is going to be what Aden loses to win the duel <laughs> against Dalinor. What if Don't what if we have an interlude that's from the viewpoint of the Chasm Fiend at the end of the Venli oh, yeah. thing in Rhythm of War? Do you think about that a Chasm Fiend interlude? That that actually be pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> actually, I'd be down for that. No, but we had a we had a Larkin, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had the I feel like we can get another. Oh, Eric, you're gonna love this. What if we get a bod and reach from interludes? Well, let's not get crazy. <laughs> no, we have, we've <laughs> gotten die, Evgeny. Get out of here. <laughs> we've gotten the unmade before. We got Siana. That's true. We did, we that's, did get that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We could get a bod and reach from interludes. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I like that, Grace. To be fair, I think any of you could suggest anything with Vodemi. I'm like, that's a good idea. I like that. That's good. That's good. I like it. Are there any other like interlude speculation we could do for other things? I don't think we're going to go back to Bavland, probably. And, uh, and catch up with uh, whatever he's saying, Baxil. No, Baxil no, wasn't in Bavland. Oh. No, are you talking about the washerwoman in Bavland? Was she yeah, the yeah, Bavland? Yeah. Mem? I mean, we could. Oh. I don't know if we'll get Mem specifically, but I could see us maybe getting like a Marais thing where it's like more directly interacting with like Sion in a trench coat Kelsier. And it's more like explicitly <laughs> misborn. That'd be, that'd be fun. <laughs> Just a straight up fight a car interlude. I like that. Yeah. That's, that'd be pretty sweet. Hey, I, uh, yeah, I mean, we just we just get an interlude set on Skadriel with Kelsey. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. That's good. Actually, you know, since we had like Kelsier POV in The Lost Metal, we might as well have one in Room you know? of Sorry, Stormlight 5. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it is. I mean, it's hard to do for the most recent Stormlight book. It's like, but that's Rhythm of War, right? Like, yeah. You know? I mean, I also still haven't, like, accepted that work in progress name for Stormlight 5, so... Yeah. A lot, a lot of... None of us have. 
uh, I, audience. I feel like a lot of people. Out, and we're gonna keep calling it Stormlight Five. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people were just saying Stormlight Five instead of uh, <laughs> Knights of Wind and Truth. Yeah. No, it was something like mixed, like wind and truths or something like that. Yeah, no, he, he didn't he say on oh, Reddit that it's wind and truth he, now? Oh, did he shorten it to just wind and truth? Yeah, yeah. I, th- I think he, oh. I, I, I read about this somewhere. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just so wind it's and truth. So it's not a Ketek anyway. Well, uh, I mean, it's not, it can... was not, a, it was never a Ketek, okay? It was symmetrical abbreviations. That's not a Ketek. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, but I mean, this is why we have oh, the next with them. It's much. like a it's like a Vorin name. You can't be a hundred percent symmetrical because yeah, that that'd is, be a heresy. You are claiming divinity, right? Yeah. So you have to be just a little bit off. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What is Brandon if not the god of Roshar? Yeah. Uh, that, I mean, more like the god of you know the universe. Brandon Elsie. I mean, Brandon God of Elsium. Universe is also God of Rosher by like some mathematical process. Like we could have a Balat interlude. That'd be cool. Mm, I yeah. I mean, we have not caught up with. I so recently. do not care about the divorce. <laughs> How dare you? That's where Bottom is. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sure. Oh, I mean, think, I'm just saying there's an unmade the, influence, you know, and it could you know be Vodemishram. It's possible. You know I'm pulling for to show up. I don't think he got a specific interlude, but he was in an interlude. So I'm gonna call it up. I want red in. I want red in closure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you've wanted red in ever him, since you read the that. Last time we saw him, he killed his father on Terra and he was like, "Man, he's gonna have a hard life now being a being a, a father killer." Like. He was already difficult enough being uh, like heterochromatic. Yeah. And then he never showed up again. I guess he died. He had such a hard life. No, 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 no. no. There's no, no way he's dead. No. Redden is going to show up in this book and I will I will be happy. That's Redden is classic who's that Cosmere character bait because it's like, when are we going to see him again? But I, I, I like I like a like a basher interlude. A Zahel interlude. That's good. Um, I, I am also doing the exact same thing you did, Evgeny. I'm yeah. just scrolling through all these. We could yeah. maybe get Azure. She wasn't an interlude character, oh, but I feel like sick. I wouldn't be surprised if she oh, gets. Oh, that'd be yeah. good. Like, like a, like an Azure POV, and she finally like tracks down Vasher. That'd be sick. I, I'd, I'd okay, like you know that. what would be fun if, like, after every part in every like set of interludes, we had like one interlude from someone who's not from the planet. So like one, we have like Cassier interlude, and then we have like Azure interlude, and yeah, I don't know. Yeah, how how can we go from can... here? Let's 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 see this to its conclusion. Felt. Okay, we need like felt four sets of interludes, right? Felt. Yeah, we could do a felt one. We could do. Um... Technically, every herald isn't from Russia. Yeah, technically, every herald is is what I was thinking, and I'm like, mm. yeah, I, I mean, I feel like. Like yeah, there's. I don't know. I'm, I feel like any of the heralds that honestly are plausible for other characters at this point. Yeah. Oh, honestly, oh, we can get not like except maybe being... Jezrean, you know. But yeah, he's dead. Uh... The point of view of Marsh's knife. That's gonna be Jezrean. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, we can do. Um, uh, um, I forgot her name. The 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 terrace the terrace woman. The um. Oh. Axendweth? Axendweth. Axendweth, yeah. In, in my head, in my head, I had um uh Ada Wathwin, but that's the 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 one from uh, oh, Lost guy. Metal. Oh that no, that's right. Yeah. No. Yeah, that, she's she's the, the governor. Yeah, yeah, governor, yeah, yeah. The right, 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 right. Axendweth would be a kick. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be sweet. But I, I think she may have skipped world by this point. Uh, you know, we don't know that. Because she wanted to. Yeah. I, I like I like Moshe's knife. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> As I I'm call it, the Jezrean stab and knife. That's its official name. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> oh man, uh, that's what Brendan gets when he doesn't give us proper names. We 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 could have like a Nightblood interlude. Wouldn't that be mm-hmm. sweet? Maybe that's also going to involve Nightblood in the in the cognitive realm. Since that's mm-hmm. like the question that's been asked several times at this point. Didn't Brandon say something about that at the con? He said he's still wondering about that. Oh, okay. Yeah, because there was there was something about that at the spoiler Q&A, right? It, it was something like many people, including, including myself, would like to know. Oh, okay. I see. Or yes. like including us. Yes, yes, yes. 
Actually, you know what? If we're talking about like wish lists for interludes, I'd love a second Talne interlude. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I just love more Talne in general. Well, I you, mean, you and the rest of the world. I mean, yes, but. I except, did get to meet up Matt. with the town fan club at, uh, <laughs> at <laughs> yeah, Dragon Steel, and they they really like town. It's good. It's true. I mean, it, they wouldn't be in much of a fun club if they didn't. I I think I think Night Plot interlude would be sweet. <laughs> that would be a little weird because you know he's with Seth, but sure, fine. Uh, but of of a Vena interlude where she confronts Vasher. Would that even make sense if you're a Stormlight only reader? Probably not. <laughs> but would that be sweet <laughs> as hell for for all of us? That'd be sweet. Oh God, this this is going. This would make the the crowd that keeps talking about how you absolutely must read Warbreaker feel so validated. Uh, I think it's fine. Like, meh. Anyway, uh, should we talk about this? <laughs> you want you want to talk about the interlude that we actually have? Ah, you know, we're 30 well, minutes into the raw recording. That's probably a good time to start talking about this <laughs> Look, one. We just, I'm sure we can come up with some more ideas for time you know, before we get to it. We just we just rebrand the episode to Stormlight 5, Interlude Speculation, and Dragonsteel Interlude. Yeah, that's true. But but see, I think if we just delay talking about the interlude enough, that increases our watch time, which will increase our analytics. I can you see that happening. That? Yes. You think about that? People, people will certainly not click off this video when they don't get what they've been promised. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be a chapter. Like, you can you can just go to the <laughs> chapter, guys. That's fine. So where do we where do we want to start? Do we do we want to start with our 17 charters? Um, sure. I, I think it's very sure. funny that Bayon got mixed up, mistaken for Nail. I for love nail. that. It was yeah. so funny to me. Yeah. And I love how they were just like, I told you, you looked like him. It's like I don't I, at all. I was like, <laughs> this is apparently there's she. What's her name? The the one that accuses him. DL or the mother. The the one that's like attacks him because she thinks he's nail. I think the, that's the, the child mother. or the mother. I don't do think they we have the mother's that? name. I, oh, I guess I guess I guess the. I mean, yes, the, uh, her mother accuses him of oh you were the murderer yeah right so i i like that the mother just sees a black guy and her first thought is this has to be this one specific guy <laughs> well i i think i think even in the interlude gallant is like i don't know i'm also a bald black guy and no one mistakes me for him like yeah. it's all about you <laughs> oh, yeah, true. I, yeah. <laughs> and, i know sh shame on me but i keep forgetting that that galadon is like dark-skinned too well, and 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 Bayon does call it out. He's like, "Hey, yeah, well, but but you're silver most of the time." Oh man, here's a few things I love about this interlude specifically, like writing wise. I love that Brandon's bringing back these interlude things for non nerdy readers who listen to say this podcast because Brandon's describing them with like the same like three like grump blunt thinker type thing so like readers if if you're reading this i think you can figure out that these are the same people but then also brandon is specifically giving them names now so that you can be like yeah. oh that's who they are and so i i always like when brandon makes those things a bit more explicit and so it's not just in the background yeah and I think that feels appropriate at this stage to do that. That's a little yeah. bit similar to how when we were first introduced to Vasher in the Stormlight Archive, we weren't even sure it is Vash. Like, obviously, something was off about this Zahel guy. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think we could pinpoint him as Vasher. And then later on... Oh, yeah, because we first got his interlude i think mm -hmm. and it was a little confusing and then kaladin met with him yeah and then it was all oh, okay yeah that's and then night blood and like once you have night blood it's like oh definitely something's happening here yeah. yeah i i love that just making it explicit and i think people realize oh trickster aspect okay that's hoid okay we, we, we got yeah that. let's let's no no let okay so i will table the hoid thing for yeah, a little bit later I guess you should when we when we finish talking about these three because i yeah there's something interesting there but yeah demo they they want to study a spren and oh uma fantastic i just yes. want to put that mm -hmm. out there that uma yes. is an amazing spren 
I do hope that Uma can get off world. <laughs> for yeah. The so that's, uh, earlier, earlier when I said that one of the things at the end people had told me and one completely blindsided me, the line where DL comes back, uh, the, the granddaughter, Eames granddaughter comes back and sees her mother crying and, and overhears the end of a conversation. Oh, that's uh, where true. Mother's like, we will try. We will see, see how far you can go. That oh, is the bit no. that I had completely oh, forgotten. No, I did like, too. Yeah, and so I read that, and I'm like, oh no, they're going off, war but she has a sprint. But oh no, <laughs> what's gonna happen? Maybe, yeah. maybe Kusakash oh. is gonna help with that. Oh, or what, if, what if we like? Have a have a group that's in shades more, and they just like find her, like the mother and Uma, just like crying on the shoreline because they couldn't follow. Wow, Grace, <laughs> the brutal. Well, I wow. think I think I think mother can go, but I like I don't think the radiant is held back. But I think they need to leave their spread behind unless something happens. Would that break the bond? I think it will. Yeah, I think it will too. No, I think I'm going to be more optimistic here and I'm going to, I, I I kind of want to assume that this is going to be a case of like a small dramatic irony once we get the full book and that we are going to find out earlier that Spren can leave Russia. It's, yes. it's based on nothing. It's speculation based on nothing, but just I want them to be able to leave <laughs> with yeah. their... With yeah. Their there there was a lob uh from the event that uh talked about uh, about this and so i'll just read this what non-radiant spren make up zellian's shard plate brandon how do i say this let's just say they are what you think they are and then how did they leave roshar brandon Raffo, you will find out in Stormlight 5. So yeah, maybe maybe like maybe like Bottomisham gets released and that fixes the problem. I don't maybe or something. I don't know. Yeah, I mean it it can't be anything like super complex since the plate spread are not exactly like the big <laughs> thinkers. So it's not like they had to go out of their way to do something. They just True. Yeah, I've I've always assumed that it would be like the radiant who needs to do some kind of prep to make that happen. Mm. You know, not kind necessarily like this, stuff. but like, uh, but like you know, put your spread in a in an aluminum box, right? And I mean, and works, go off works for yeah, works for Gavilar and yeah. Investiture, right? Maybe it works yeah. for Spren. I like how much we've been talking about Vasher in this episode. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Did not appear in this interlude at all. The secret Vasher episode. Actually, Vasher. <laughs> I have a question about Uma. Because yeah. Yim was starting to get a bond. And they yes. have killed him. Yep. Uh, and so as I was listening to this, I was like, oh, is it the same shard blade? But you like, I don't think Yim got far enough for in the bond so that when he died uma would be a shard agreed blade. yeah uh, uh, well a living a living spren would also oh, not they, drop they as they a blade wouldn't. that's true that's true yeah what am what am i talking about but but i, but I think it's the same spren i think it's yeah, I, I, I think, think it's, it's i think it's like a elacar like an elacar yep. wait situation yeah oh, yep. and uma did know who nail was yeah that's so like yeah. okay that yeah. makes sense yeah. so it's like oh yeah it's not this guy Oh, okay. Actually, speaking of that, uh -huh. the fact that Dael's mother was just like, oh, this is the guy that killed my father. This is the Herald Nail. I'm going to stop this guy. Well, <laughs> she didn't. Fight she right didn't That's ballsy. She didn't know that Nail was the murderer. So it, was, it was this dark sinned man, I guess. She also calls him Darkness, which uh, is Lyft's nickname for. That so I think Look, that's a continuity Brandon problem. Brandon wrote it but... like like a week ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. It'll be it'll so, be adjusted. So yeah. I'm saying maybe 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 don't read into that. Yeah, that's true. You know, it really makes me think how stupid Nail's plan is. It's like if you, you go kill around the, murder people. If you kill the person who's trying to bond the spren, the spren can just choose someone else. They're they're already there. 
Like, this is not a sustainable plan here, Nick. Well, but maybe, but maybe this friend gets traumatized by the experience and is like, I'm not going to bond anymore, people, because this sucks. I mean, I guess, but like, it just seems like you have a lot of ground to cover, Nail. I mean, Look, he's not that exactly is called... the paragon of mental stability. So. <laughs> so... He's like, this is the best plan. <laughs> Ishar told me this was the best plan, and so I'm going to execute Ishar it. Ishar is the sanest one of us all. <laughs> yes, sanest yeah. one. <laughs> Ishar, another paragon of sanity. They're doing will... great, guys. So so that is that is called job security. <laughs> mm, true. <laughs> you, you'll never run out of work. Yeah. You know, may, maybe a board herald is a crazy herald. And maybe, you know, you just got to keep your hands busy murdering people, you know? Yeah, yeah. You think about and it, and that will keep you from going crazy. Yes. Well, yes. you know, sometimes to keep sane, you gotta break a few skulls. You, you know? gotta go a little insane. Gotta... I guess that explains how town lasted unbroken for so long. It's all the murders. Mm. Yeah. No, didn't Brandon say at the con that town was just the best fighter? Yeah, the like the in the close mirror at the peak yeah. of yeah, his power. Yeah. yeah, he's he's the best fighter there ever was. He is the best there ever was. Yeah, yeah. He has a lot of practice. Like, he, yeah, he he has a lot of practice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, I've always I've always liked uh, that little sentiment from Rhythm of War when they're fighting Ishar. Uh, when yeah. the Stormfather is like, yes. hey, look, they were not all fighters at the start, but by the end, they all learned. And like, yeah, Ishar is not the best of them. <laughs> but yeah, he's he's handling a dozen wind runners, no problem. <laughs> I don't know if it was a dozen, but it was like, it, I think it was like five, maybe? Three to five? Hey, cool. Half a dozen. Cool. It, it was, it was mm, several. It was anime odds of like enemies. <laughs> Greater yeah. than two. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. By the way, we will be going through a crap load of wobs in 2024. We haven't even gotten through our Brandon wobs entirely. <laughs> so, and there's 84 wobs in the Dragon Steel thing. And apparently, we're going to get a December spoiler QA. So, maybe we're just going to have six wob episodes. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you joke, but I don't think that's a joke. <laughs> I, I actually don't think that's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. We got. We just got we a pad break time them up throughout the year. We just, yeah, we just got a pad time until Stormlight Five, guys. Like that's that's fine. Just keep talking, Brandon. We'll just talk about it. Just keep talking. Is there anything we can talk about the Sharders themselves? The the Sharders themselves, like they have accomplished so little on your show. It's <laughs> actually kind of funny. absolutely nothing. Like, let's let's count things up. They started accidentally a plague in the pure lake. That true. The plague has done exactly nothing. <laughs> the plague has... It's true. I, I've already said my piece in the Rim of War episodes about how much I hate that the plague has done nothing. But the plague has done nothing. So they, they, moved, all the right. way from, they moved all the way from pure lake to Castor, which is like... Not that far on Rosharan's yeah, scale. It's kind of far, but like across like the a, book time, yeah. Bayon almost got himself killed because apparently he just looks like Nail so much. <laughs> and then they just left. And that's all. So I, I will add to that. In here, when they get the, the letter from Hoyd, yes. uh, one of them is like, oh, is he... Is he trying to lure us back in? So, like, at this point, they have also given up on their task to find <laughs> Hoid. <laughs> so, t sure is the least effective secret society. See, the, all of that's true, Rasar. But I think the thing I love is Demo just be like, I am just so done with this place. <laughs> like, this, yeah. this place sucks. We haven't accomplished anything. <laughs> This is I couldn't even find a sprint to study. God, horrible. Okay, okay. If you're okay, as as a sapient living beings, right? If someone randomly went up to you and was like, "You're hey, can I I study you? studying you," like <laughs> you can only do that if you're gonna give them a hundred dollars and like uh, at like a college. I mean, and like I don't think the sprint are gonna be into that. You yeah. know. I don't think the Sprint have colleges either, so this is a doomed endeavor from the start. I, I mean, they might. I so you, you, what you gotta do, right? You gotta you gotta go into Shadesmar, 
find a bunch of cryptics. One of them will say yes. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, he just so got, has to go to the cryptic city. Your, you've got to be strategic about who you're asking. I also have this image in my head that just appeared fully formed of like a spring frat house. <laughs> and the moon just walking up to them and, and like handing, I guess, invest like spheres to them to still and like just the 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 broest wind sprint to ever bro this this is actually going to be the setting of our stormlight rpg uh diceborne game Ooh. uh it's just actually we're just we're not going to call it fantasy high we're going to call it spread high spread and, high and uh which definitely sounds I mean, I guess when you swear an ideal, you do get a spread high. If you think, if you think how that works. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, but I feel like I feel like my brain is making the connection between like bridge four to a frat. So I'm like, you know, we spray frat house. Maybe not as ridiculous as our first scenes. Like mm-hmm. it's true. It's mm-hmm. true. Like, Someone uh, write that fanfic. You know? I know there's there's a lot of I mean a lot there, there there's a moderate amount of like AUs that are like like high school themed, college yeah. themed, you know. That kind of stuff. Gosh. I haven't seen any that are focused on the Spren half of things. Like yes. I've seen all oh, Sil is Kaladin's sister, you know, things like that. Spren University in Shadesmar. That's yes. that's 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 a yes. that's a good that's that's a good concept right there. Yeah. 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 It's no it's no yeah. Silverlight University, but like close second. Well no no no. no. Honestly, it's we, probably we can more fix- fun, honestly, to write about with like the the spread personalities and maybe the spread can leave and get to Silverlight, and then you get to have mm. the best of both worlds. That's true. Yeah, I did have an idea once a way back for a fanfic that was like the first radiant to go to Silverlight University, and to, like her spread just like in the corner frantically taking notes while she's just like goofing off with people, and like her <laughs> spread is like we need to study more, we need to go to office hours, and she's like I don't want to. <laughs> so so what I'm hearing is this is this is zoo and Ua Palm. Yeah, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. That's exactly that's right. exactly the dynamic <laughs> that, that, that they have. That is the <laughs> dynamic that they have. Um you know, you know it'd be great to see them again ever because they were just there for one part and yeah. then they just left. <laughs> yeah. No, I was I was telling I was telling someone I think the existence of this interlude makes seeing like zoo again a really interesting concept. Oh, because Zoo is Iriali, right? She is Iriali, oh, yeah. Oh, that'd yeah. be cool, yeah. You know, speaking of, like, things we could see, we were talking earlier about how the Shadesmark crew could come across, like, Uma and the mother. But what if, like, like they, they go into the cryptic city and <gasps> Demwa is just there hanging out with the cryptics? Like, he just see. bailed on the 17th shard. He's just doing his, <laughs> like, Silverlight College thesis on cryptics. That'd be great. I, I I like that. You know what else I liked is actually Brandon's narration of Demo saying, of course, Hoyd was here before. I'm just <laughs> ready to be out of here. <laughs> like Br- Brandon just he he did nail that voice acting. I liked that. <laughs> yeah. One one thing that always happens with me is whenever Brandon reads like a chapter or an interlude or whatever, and I get to the book, you know, a year or two later. I still hear his voice and like That's his true. cadence when, I am, yes. when I'm reading. The, it's a, a real problem. Though in rereading the Storm of Five Prologue, I don't have that. Actually. Hmm. I don't have that for that one. Because the Storm of Five Prologue is just so long. <laughs> uh, yeah, it might be it might be a length thing. Whereas yeah. like I don't yeah. Whereas this like you can keep the cadence in your yeah. brain. Hey, I have I have something related to the seventeenth charters that I want to bring okay, up. Okay, sure. So they have some kind of a device on them. They have some kind of device. Oh, yes, yes, there is a device. Um, so early on in, in the chapter, mm-hmm. Galadon uh, says, sorry, let me back up. So Bayon goes, are you, are you certain uh, this is the right time? Mm-hmm. And Galadon says, of course, I'm not sure. The device is always unpredictable, don't you know? Oh, what is he talking about there? And then later on, so we we completely forget about all of that. Great. I like that. And later on, just before the three leave, mm-hmm. uh, we get this line. A ding came from Galadon's pocket. Time, mm. he said. 
The three men nodded to the two of them, the, the two Uriali women, uh, then started out. And then Bayon hesitates at the door and says, uh, things might be chaotic in your city for a little bit, but it will pass. Best stay inside. And then Kusakesh immediately... And uh, Kusakesh immediately shows up. So it's like they... This seems like a device that's like using fortune somehow, yes. right? And yeah, it's some fortune that's... thing that they like know something's going to happen here. And like magic eight ball that actually works. Yeah. yeah. More than a regular eight ball, but still unpredictable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it at least does something real. Yes. Yeah. But and so they, they knew something was going to happen. And so Bayon's like, oh, I know something's going to happen. I like these this family let me give them a warning but they didn't know that it was going to be you know the perpent like the way to the fifth land opening my guess would be that they knew that there would be perpendicularity opening but they didn't know it would be kusakesh whisking the Uriali away <laughs> i could see that but why would he say that things are going to be a little chaotic for a little while I mean, if a giant hole to Shadesmar opens in your city that is currently <laughs> under occupation by the uh, the owners, it feels like that they're here just to leave the planet. So I wouldn't be surprised if they knew that something was op going yeah. to open, but not like a lot of the details, right? Yeah, because Demo said just as we're about to leave, right? That's fair. What do we know about honors perpendicularity? I know we've gotten a couple of wops about it. There was something about it, it being unstable or unpredictable. Yeah. It is completely bonkers that Kushikesh could just be like, we're opening it right now. Like, okay. Time to go. Everyone in the mom van. Like, this is very cool. I don't know if Kusakesh coming out of the bay at a specific time has anything to do. Like, why Why did Kusakesh come out of the bay at a specific time? This this just seems like two unrelated facts, but I'm like, I mean, that, that was crazy for sure. Yeah. You know? Just, just like uh. a welfare check on the Uriali. Yeah, but why would it be at the certain time? Like, uh, why not? <laughs> Honestly. Like, uh, it, it, do you think he's coming out of the bay at that same time in the morning? During this? No. Uh, so the, the, oh, the it is, it says of... it's the wrong time of day. Yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, did reread this, but uh, clearly mm -hmm. not very well. Uh, so the, the, the wob that we have is that honors perpendicularity moves. So just big ass spren can just use it, I guess? <laughs> okay. Super unclear. Is Kusakesh like a protector of the Iriali that has just been chilling with them for like the whole time? I think that's my best guess. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. I think Kusakesh is not of Roshar. Yeah. yeah. It's it's probably like not actually a spren in like the strictest sense. Sure. But more of a spren in sense of like Rosharans calling all the cognitive yeah. things spren. You yeah, know, it's still probably a cognitive thing, but yeah, like not not like I the mean, other yes, ones. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely. Sure. I wonder if that means that like Kusikash was on Lumara at some point. <laughs> That's that is that is bonkers to think about. What if what if Kusikash on another planet just is like I'm green spores? We. <laughs> That's po that's possible, actually. It is possible. Yeah, it wouldn't like it being water on Lumar would probably be bad, you know. Uh, well, I mean, he's a sprint. It doesn't matter. He's not actually made of water. He yeah, just looks like a water yeah, jet. Okay, that's fair. I I will say though, I I legitimately, as I was rereading this, got chills when we got to to Kusikesh, like speaking, going. People, yeah. it is here. <laughs> I, I, I pulled up. I pulled up the Kusakesh copper my article because I was like, I want to. I want to get as much Kusakesh facts as we know. So, yeah, I know everything about Kusakesh. Very, it's one of very few unique spread on Roshar, and it is one of the largest. It yep. often leaves people who witness it with a feeling of being drained. Yep. It is made up of more investiture than the typical spread, although it is not on the same level as the Stormfather or Night Watcher. It is not capable of forming our radiance bond for reasons unrelated to the level of investiture. Because it's not a spread. Yeah, that's that's my guess. Yeah, that that yeah, like Iriali yeah, weird stuff. I, I mean, guess it's, it's a spread in the Rosharan definition. Yeah, yeah, but... yeah, yeah. right, but not the spread in the 
forming bonds with radiance. Sets. Although I will say, don't we have a wab that it's theoretically possible to bond Kelsier? <laughs> I I do believe we do. Well, and it definitely sounds familiar. So so it it might be n not that he is not a spren, which I also think is true, but he might be like an amalgamation of like because there are the cycling faces, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it might be that he is, you know, I don't know if that's the case, but it's possible that he's like all the Irealis dead. Ooh. Something it's like, like into like the a single thing. Yeah, like the chorus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah very I much like the chorus. The chorus of Iriali. The the, the, leave, the leaving people feeling rejuvenated thing. I want to talk about that. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what, yeah. Why, but I feel like that's interesting. That is interesting. Like, yes. Is Kushikesh maybe like he's yeah. taking like a little, tiny bit of investiture from people every day, and then that's what's being used to open the like perpendicularity yeah, of the, Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, maybe that's why the Uriali were on Roshar for so long. Kusikash needed to charge up the battery. Uh, no, I think I think I think it has to do with the timing of it. Like I, I think Kusikash is is like sensing that yeah. stuff's about to go down. Sure, and is like, to nope, time to go. Yep. Another another option is that uh, he is draining people's investiture to like sustain himself. Yeah, that's maybe. good. Too. Maybe yeah, but I mean yeah. Roshar, like, feels like the one planet where you wouldn't have to do that. Yeah, because like, there's there's high storms and stuff. There's and, storms, yeah. You know. It's true. Maybe maybe like it needs something more specific than stormlight for nourishment. Like, I mean, even Vasher needed to Vasher again. Even Vasher needed to figure out some way to use stormlight instead of breaths. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but also, like, if if Kyosikesh was like build to just naturally like drain a little bit of investiture from people nearby then it doesn't matter that on roshar that doesn't need to be the case like it would still be the way that he functions because he drained everyone not just iriali right yep okay cool yeah. yep uh but axi axis reports yeah. that feeling i was just like thinking oh but what if it's just connected to the iriali or, or some crap right uh where I mean, at else? this point i wonder how many people on roshar have like a bit of Iriali in their like family yeah, tree. Yeah, I mean, yeah. probably a lot of them. Like, it's been thousands of years. Like, for example, if like, because like Iri and Rira, that's the same like ethnic group, just different nations. So, like, for example, would Adolin also be like, Kusikesh be like, come on, get over here. We're going to another uh, land. Well, it, it does seem <laughs> like the Rirans are like blonde, but don't are yeah. gold haired yeah. right like there is a yeah. bit of a distinction with presumably like the iriali population and like iriali like like mixed race iriali right and it feels like yeah. rirans are more there i'm sure it's a spectrum right mm -hmm. but yeah. there is I'm, a description difference i'm kind of wondering like how many people are getting like invited on the trip yeah like yeah. At, at, at which point does Kusikesh say you're not eerie enough to go with us? I don't know if that matters because the world hoppers got yeah. in just fine. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, hey, yeah, what's up? Mm. Yeah. It, like, I, like, maybe there will be eerie characters who decide, like, Roshor is my home and I want to stay. Probably not a significant population. Probably not a but significant amount. Yeah. Some could. I don't know about the not significant population. Wasn't there something either in Wob or in the story that the Eerie society at large is getting more secular? And no, they I are... remember that Wob. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yep. So I, I am kind of wondering how many Eerie will actually go, considering that how a lot of them are no longer like following the one. So for them, it's less of a religious event and more of a this giant um... spren is telling you to go out and leave your whole life behind. I hear you. I think we have a little bit of an example here because we are told that DL's mother is not very religious and she is very much, oh, we got to go. Yeah, I mean, I will say as far as the religious experience goes, that it's pretty persuasive. Like Kusakesh just being like, yo, it's time. Get your backpacks. Get out of here. I'm like, I mean... You make a compelling argument here. <laughs> like, like, you know. 
<laughs> I never exactly thought like because I think we thought, how would all the Iriali go? And there probably is some Iriali who don't leave, right? Who like, yep, are yeah. slightly too slow. Sucks for you at the very least. Right. And and I mean, the portals only they hear show up in the major cities. Right. So yeah. if you are, you know, on some farm or something. Sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. But I I didn't quite expect Kusakesh popping up from the bay and creating magical portals in every major city in Erie. <laughs> and it's like, time to go, guys. It's like, oh, right. We're in the Cosmere. There's magic. We can just do that. <laughs> it's like, all right. I mean, that makes sense, actually. That I, solves a lot of issues yeah. for me. That is, that is, that is a little, that is still a little bit wild. Oh, it's yeah. completely wild, but like, at least timeline wise, it makes sense that they would need to leave quickly right like it explains yeah. that which i appreciate do we know by the end do we know actually how long it's is there any indication of how long it'll actually be open no no i know they say like let's go quickly but like i don't know i wouldn't be shocked if they're it's open for like a day or two yeah you know, it's it could, still it could really be quick open a day when, or two, when in terms sure. of yeah. evacuating an entire country yeah 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 it's, it's gonna take a while i don't think it's gonna like it's like we have to like run to catch the next boat and it'll close in like minutes or whatever sure. like if you're a farmer though you're completely screwed in the middle of nowhere if you're not in a major city but that's brandon's yeah. city bias coming in it's like ah, only <laughs> the people in the cities matter <laughs> I don't know if you're opening open all across Erie, you know, I'm sure it's there's going to be enough portals to get the vast majority of the population out. Yeah. God, that's so crazy. OK, you know what? I just had like a, a weird idea. OK. OK, so we know that we do know that people can hitch a ride with the Erie when they are traveling, right? Yes. Yep. And we had on Roshar a major like migration from one planet to Roshar. So my silly idea is what if the way that the original people of Ashen got to Roshar was they like hitched a ride with the Eri and that's why Eri are one of the silver kingdoms from like Roshar uh, history because we, they came together. We know that the Eri Ali are a separate they came population later. migration. Yeah. Well, yeah. there, there goes my theory. Then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Brandon like all good mobs, about... just killing theories. <laughs> Brandon, I don't want to kill theories, uh, Sanderson. As as he stabs I mean, a theory with a knife. Yes. I, I can't say I'm much hung up on it, considering I came yeah. up with it like 60 seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, like, I think there was, I, there I like was my also Aiden a... Child champion theory. I don't know what you're no. talking about. <laughs> okay, but Aiden theories are fun. Yeah, we can, we can, maybe... we can Zelion sweep Aiden, I'm sure of it. No, we should not. Do you think Kusakash was like, oh, Aiden's coming the child champion. We got to get out of here. We, I cannot we, deal we gotta, with We got to close these gates. <laughs> like, I, I cannot deal with this guy. Like, he, there's echoes in the spiritual realm about this. I can't, I can't even... <laughs> <laughs> Aiden's not that bad, but it's very funny. So, do we think? Okay, I have I have a relevant question. Okay, oh, um, do we think that all migrations are at such a significant point in the planet's history? Like when they left their previous world, do you think it was like some like cataclysmic event that forced them out? I have to think about Lumar, right? Mm -hmm. Where. It seems like nothing happened 300 years ago, except maybe Zeiss showed up. Yeah, I, I think Cataclysm is not the only explanation because there could just be like, we've experienced enough of this place for some reason. I don't know what criteria that is, but like they're all about getting experiences for the one, right? Yeah. And then, you know, that that's actually... If you just think about that with Kusakesh draining power, that's a little interesting. Almost like he's dr like you're gaining yeah, charging a battery. You're you're gaining experiences, and maybe Kusakesh oh, is like draining, like obviously not the experiences, mm -hmm. but I don't know. There, there's a parallel there, right? Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, but and I, there's also like a little bit of the idea that you can store memories in investiture. Oh, true. And, and maybe so those memories are the faces. 
I don't I don't think any of that is what like is actually factually happening, but there yeah, are thematic not. parallels. There's thematic parallels. I, I do like the idea of Kuskesh being the Iriali chorus. That's pretty sweet, actually. Like the dead Iriali go into Kusakesh. It's true. Or like you know, that. maybe some. Yeah. Or you know, any any that Kusakesh has fed on. Yeah. I'm going into this in the assumption that Kuskesh just goes with them. It is their protector. I mean, to be fair, he is called Kuskesh the protector. So, sure, why not? Yeah. And I think big events, he's like, okay, uh, y- you know, you guys are all going to die, so we should probably get out of here. That could be one thing. Or just time to go for... We- we've experienced enough here. There's nothing else going on. We should get out of here. Yeah, but like they were on Roshar for a really long time. Like it's hard for me to imagine yeah. them being on any other planet even like a fraction of the time. Yeah. I mean Roshar. well they they were on Roshar, you know, like five, six thousand years like 6, or something. Thousand like years, that. Yeah. yeah. Like since the last desolation. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and the shattering was ten thousand years. So like they really they really liked Roshar, apparently. It, yeah. It really makes me kind of wonder like what the what caused them to leave Lumar? So yeah, I'm guessing like because like I'm pretty sure Tress of the Emerald Sea is not taking place like five thousand years after Stormlight Archive. No, probably not. This feels like a very large time scale for Cosmir to yeah be in. It, it does seem like Lumar is where they're going next, though, right? It's kind yeah. of my thought. Yeah, because like they, they're kind of limited. They have a limited number of worlds left before whatever big religious thing is supposed to happen. Yeah, that's it, it is just bonkers that like the end of the Cosmere, the Ariali probably are like it, it like super important and there's like some crazy role and Kusakesh yeah. is gonna be there, which is bonkers to think about. And yeah. then Kusakesh um just era era four, a big like golden spaceship, and there is like this spirit over it. No, no, no. Like what if protector. no? Kusakesh could become a spaceship. We've been yeah, over yeah. this in the Sunlit Man episodes. No, no, no. no. Kusakesh is the space whale that uh, power that like drives the spaceship. Yeah. Just, Hell yeah. As in, like with the four arms, just like holding the spaceship going through space. <laughs> <laughs> the, the spaceship's less of a ship and more of a box, and Kusakesh just like and grabs it and just like hauls ass. I'm I'm imagining now like you know like the the Cinderella animated that like carriage from a pumpkin just instead of being pulled by magic horses being pulled by magic Kusikash through space. I like that. Who has four arms lest we forget that. Maybe 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 each arm has a different box. Yeah. Yeah. Different box. So we are just living in this cold reality in the Cosmere. Yeah, we say this somewhat jokingly, but like that's actually like kind of possible. <laughs> like, like I'm not gonna be surprised if Kusakesh ma- like manifests as a spren as a spaceship and is like, "Hey, Iriali, get on this, and we gotta go." And it's like this We're giant also- Iriali like flagship, like kind of like in like Mass Effect, you know, the Corians, right? They have the big fleet, but it's just like one big ship. And it's just called Kusakesh. <laughs> so we were all so focused on Spaceship Orifiro, we completely missed Spaceship Kusakesh. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I, I am a big fan of Baida Mishram becomes a spaceship, and that's a Rasharan capital ship later. That, that, was, that was mine Everyone in the Sunlit was a Man. Spaceship. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah, it, it's it's just mind boggling that like this, this is like really important for the Cosmere. Apparently, Kuskesh can open perpendicularities. Also, I guess here here's my question. Sure, Kusakesh opened Honor's path here, but like that doesn't explain anything for any other place that they're in. <laughs> like, can you just <laughs> Okay, but I, I feel like I need so who says that it's Honor's path? So Where's they the- say Honor's gateway in this book. Uh, that is that is near the That's end. That's the mother. The mother says that. So she she could be wrong. She could be wrong, the ga- right? The Which gateway. One, yeah. The gateway. Mother whispered to the land of shadows. Honor's gateway. Oh, father, mother, ancestors become one. It's time. 
Runefisher Pack. Ancestors become one. I think Kusakesh the chorus. It's possible. It, it like actually, I think might be legitimately plausible. So is this honors gateway as in like this is honors perpendicularity, or is it honors gateway as in like we are on Roshar and honor is of the planet, and therefore mm. I, I think that's tenuous. I feel like it's it's kind of weird to me that this would be honors perpendicularity because presumably this is how they live every time. So yeah, exactly. Like it's not like Kusikesh is opening honors perpendicularity on Lumar, is he? That, that's exactly I, my problem, right? I, I I don't know if I fully agree. I don't think it's necessary that they leave this way every time. It's so possible. Does Kusikesh that... like finds a new path for them every time? For example, yeah. Maybe this is what's. Kusikesh was doing there all this time, like getting connected to Roshar enough so that he can like use honors perpendicularity. Yeah, and maybe like it took a while because like there was honor shenanigans, and maybe Kusikesh wanted to leave earlier, but honor died or some crap. I don't know. Or maybe he was waiting for honor to die and knew that in the spiritual realm. Maybe, maybe this is what happens like in the chapters preceding this interlude. Maybe. <laughs> Like Stormfather dies in the prior chapter, and that like oh my God. Kusikesh open to the yeah, Kusikesh is like, sweet, time to go. It's like, okay, it's free real estate for Kusikesh. Okay, <laughs> all right. No, no spoilers, by the way. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I have not. Re- I have not read that book. Yeah. No. Okay. Let's let's let's. Talk no, no, no. I, I meant oh. sorry. Let me let me rephrase all of that. That was Brandon saying, "Oh, we're not gonna have spoilers oh, right. in this." <laughs> <laughs> no spoiler I, I, interlude. Let's, let's talk for a sec on where we think which set of interludes do we think this is in? How early or late in the book? Mm. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> if you were to like twist my arm to pick something, I'd say it's one of the earlier interlude oh, sets, I... like the first or the second one, because I think because we're doing like. I still don't know if we are building up to the duel throughout the book or if the duel is going to happen at some point during the mm. book, but I feel like sure. all the Iriali leaving is the kind of like building up tension of, oh no, something horrible is about to Ooh, happen to this point. planet. Yeah. Look, we have we have between one and two, between two and three, between three and four, and between four and five. So if we each take a different one, one of us will be right, right? Okay. I, I'm True. betting on the first set. <laughs> okay. 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 I like Rosar's theory, so I'm going to go after second. I'm doing four and five. I think okay, it's late. So I'll be, I'll be between three and four. Then I think, I wonder if maybe there's going to be like political tension with the eerie of some kind. And then like, as like a middle of the book thing. And then this will like kind of mm. either resolve it or like completely upend those sort of political negotiations. Mm. I don't have an opinion on that, but it reminds me of something that I do maybe have an opinion, but I certainly have curiosity on, which is kind of the idea of, we know there are singers and probably fused in the in Cassator. Oh, yeah. As this yeah. is happening. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I wonder what they are doing while yeah. Honor's gateway is opening and all the reality yeah. are like, yeah. peace. Yeah. Well, we... Well, like, we know that the singers in Alethka are like, yeah, I'm Alethi. Do we think there are any singers that are like, I, culturally, I'm eerie, I believe in the one, I want to follow the long trail? That's, that, that's kind of cool. I kind of like I don't, that idea. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't, be, because the ones in Alethka don't consider themselves, I say that and I, and I, <laughs> Don't you immediately that is true. like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I was going to say, they don't consider themselves Vorin, but then, like, the female and, and the, the Femalin singers are like, yeah, but safe hand. Like, I imagine since we saw them in Oathbringer, they've been, well, I shouldn't say they've been building their own culture. The Fuse have been imposing what they are supposed yes, to be yes. upon them, <laughs> really. Um, they, restoring, they really been- you know, the Dawn singer culture. I imagine like they kind of awakened with like like that Iriali uh like cultural knowledge, mm-hmm. kind of like the singers we see at the beginning of Oathbringer. But like probably within a year they'll be like, I'm not like those humans. Those humans suck. But 
Also, yeah. it seems like the Iriali and the the fused they've been pretty cordial and things. It's also it's oh, also wait. probably more personality than it is religion, yeah. right? Because yeah. you know, imagine living in a household your entire life, right? And that's a household that is in Alethkar and they continuously talk about, you know, battles and war and things like that. And so you will probably, you know, even in the dulled state of mind that you were in, you will probably pick up a lot of that, but you wouldn't necessarily pick up a lot of the religion because you wouldn't be practicing that religion, right? So maybe different groups of, of awakened singer, I should not say awakened singers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, got, you got to be very careful with your Cosmere terminology. You I'm can't running use, out of words that I can use, Brendan. You can't use intent. You can't use command. Uh, 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 yeah. The woken up singers. The, the, uh, the bankers are just... L- Cosmere bankers are like, God, I just can't say I'm investing in things. Like it's just, it's just invest, confusing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, um, but it would be very funny if in the Cosmere, the banking term investment came from the magical term investment. Oh, I, mean, I hate it. Funny. I hate and it And they so invest much. in Stormlight stocks. I hate everything about this conversation. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're yeah, just so, so, so off the rails. I hope you're enjoying different, this. Different, different groups of, of, of singers probably have like different default understanding of the cosmology of the world by which i mean for example you know how different different nations on roshar think of the storm father differently sure there are places where they think it's kalak there are places where they think it's jezrian there are places where they think he's just a sprint right and so i think that level of understanding of the cosmology and theology of Roshar is probably what the singers are going to absorb by default. But they wouldn't be, you know, they probably wouldn't be burning prayers because they've never burned prayers. Yeah, they might just have like known that prayers are a thing that like people did and not know the specifics and things like that. And so from that context, I don't think the ones that were in Erie would consider themselves to be, you know, following the will of the one or whatever. Hmm. Another interesting thought I had was we know that Erie are buddy buddy with the fuse. I wonder if maybe yeah. like the Erie leadership knew this was coming soon. And so there was sort of like a tacit agreement of like, you can take over this country when we're gone because we're going to leave soon kind of thing. I don't think they would have known. No. I'm going to go a step further and say maybe this was an agreement on a higher level between Kusikesh and one of the, like, <laughs> leadership of the few Voidbringers. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Kusikesh know. spoke to Odium and was like, hey. you can have Eerie. Let my people all, like, go. Just give me enough time to like finish preparing the perpendicularities, and you can have Eerie when we're gone. That, I mean, that, I was thinking Beadomistram, but <laughs> I was thinking Beadomistram, and that could happen after mm. she's released. But like, this is we are, I am firmly in fanfic fury with my speculations today. <laughs> oh, oh you, yeah, no, I think, you we're, you're I think we all are yeah, here. All of us are. <laughs> I don't think we can fit it in the title, but uh, it's time for fanfic theories. Stormlight interlude fan fiction. <laughs> That's gonna be. <laughs> and then they'll they'll all think that this interlude isn't actually real. It's just fanfic that someone <laughs> ever made. I like that. That's good. It was actually another Brandon who read that at the I, convention. I wonder if I, I don't think the Ariali leadership knew. I don't think Kusakesh actually told anyone or made a deal. Though that's that is plausible. It's not implausible, but I wonder if the experience of being conquered by singers was the thing that they needed to experience. And that was the last thing they needed. Like maybe if Erie was just conquered in like the last desolation, then they'd be like, okay, great time to go. We, we did it guys. We needed that last experience for the one. And then we got out of here. No, oh, that doesn't feel right to me. I mean, the, the nations of Roshar were like, decimated or like the reverse of decimated 90% murdered yes. off with 
every yes, desolation. Yes. So I find it hard to believe that this is the first time that Erie was occupied. Well, I think occupy is different than you kicked the void bringers out and 90% of your people died. Those are different things. Like, it's not good. It's bad. I feel like there must have been periods of time where like singers or like void bringers were under were in control of Rosharan cities. That's probably true. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's probably true. It's a global war, right? Can can we spin back around to this perpendicularity though? Because this actually sure. is is really bothering me. That like I, it can't just be honor's path every single time, right? Like, there's no way I that can know. be the case. Nope, cannot be. So, like, does Kusakesh? And and this is all under the assumption that Kusakesh always goes with them, which is not necessarily true. Yeah, uh, we're yeah. we're in fanfic land, but. Is Kusakesh going to a place knowing that, like, like Sigzil, I can get enough investiture to open a path? Uh, all right. <laughs> if we're going, if we're going fully fanfic Let's land, do it. right? What if there are, like, nine Kusakeshes, <laughs> and they, the way they find the next land is by finding the next Kusakesh? No, wouldn't there be just be seven of them, though? Because oh, there's yeah, seven I lands, right? I don't remember how many lands there are. I, 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 that... I chose nine, not random. I don't know how many Nice. I like are. that. But, like, it's like. <laughs> All right, we need to find find the next version of Kusakash and it's like the previous Kusakash, it's like and it's like unique to the planet. Mm. Yeah, so I actually have had a similar thought, very largely based on the exact wording of, of what Kusakash says here, which is, "I am to be your guide for the fifth the journey." Yeah, yeah, so mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. And so there, there is room here to interpret that as there are different guides for yeah, each one of these sure. journeys. Absolutely. There is also room for, you know, oh, maybe Kyusakesh was a natural sprint of Roshar and they were changed somehow by the uh, you know, their experiences. You know, maybe, 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 maybe. That's a lot of the babies. final shard is, <laughs> is the one. Mm. Oh, boo. And, boo. and they, and they, and boo. they, and they, and they, maybe, and they, maybe, maybe they, and they, maybe, <laughs> look after the Iriali. And when it's time to go, they're like, I got to infuse some kind of local spirit or open a gateway or something and have my people go on the next step of the journey. Kusakesh is an avatar of a different shard. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, like shard Fala. <laughs> yes. 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 Maybe they, yeah, maybe, yes. <laughs> but Tommy's okay, just I, leading I... the Ariali around, you know? Before we go on, I need whoever's editing this episode to add like a maybe counter to this section. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that. I, I'm I'm gonna be editing. Okay. I'll, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that there. I like that. I, I don't I don't hate this idea. I actually kind of like the idea that it's like a shard like babysitting them from a distance. Yeah. Because it it's been it's been bothering me a little bit that out of nowhere, like Kyusakesh breaks this repetitive mm. you know it's not a mantra but it's a it's a thing that they do mm. every day and mm. they it's a thing they've done for like thirty thousand days in a row or whatever yeah and and out of nowhere they're like hey go. look i i can now speak and also wave my hands let's go it it definitely does have the vibes of a shard or some entity like taking control or you know they they you know awaken in some capacity or you know some, something has happened to trigger this yeah sure maybe this is what's like the device that was it the war galadon who who Yaldan, had the beep I, device Yaldan did uh, i think yeah uh, maybe maybe this is what the device that the beep device was about like another shard like influ- influencing the world or something yeah, maybe. It's Galadon, yeah. I think I think it's that fortune like... shenanigans, just knowing something big's yeah. happening here and maybe some deeds. Yeah. But... I mean, it could be fortune shenanigans of like, oh, another shard has like thrown their... Like, 
uh, alternatively, it could be like similar to a investiture detecting advice, but like on the level of searching for an investiture build up to the point that a perpendicularity could open, maybe. Or maybe that out. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think Does fortune it... is maybe a bit more likely, but. Mm, but they they were. Because they did say like the right time, but. They they did sound yeah, but but it could also be the right time for a perpendicularity to open, right? Mm -hmm. They they seemed like they were here to leave the planet. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think we know that like the well, there's some issues with going through the horn eater peaks, which is sort of the traditional yeah. route. Yeah. Well, I mean, the issue is the diffuser there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe me, yeah, maybe that's what the it's like searching for. A buildup of investiture large enough to create a perpendicularity. Yeah, but usually that's not how perpend. This is just such a unique, weird thing that it it's kind of a little mind boggling. It's like this is your honors path detector, guys. Uh, not not the ship, not for the ship. <laughs> it's a ship called the honors path. Sorry, which is actually Maybe very funny when you think about it. I think Maybe I that's think what's going to be ferrying the reality. Maybe yeah. Kusika is like paid honors path to <laughs> ferry them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the entire nation on board of a ship. Yeah. Uh, That's when Kuskesh moon... needs to manifest into a ship, Evgeny. Come on, get get with the program here, okay? <laughs> I will I will fight this. Um, Demu does complain about the odd behavior for a perpendicularity of this nature. Yeah, I I would concur with you, buddy. Like <laughs> I, I, I would also complain. About yeah, <laughs> like it, it seems mind boggling for sure. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> It's the, the, the most 17th shard, the number right. member of 17th yeah. shard, the world. True, true. I mean, I do think that Roshar, more than any other planet we've seen, has mecha like mechanics in place to open perpendicularities at any given location. Like, I mean, Ishar I mean, opens one, right? Yeah, like yeah. Ishar does it, Dalinar does it. I mean, Yasna kind of does it every time she else calls, like... It's not completely unprecedented for people on Roshar to be like, sure. I want a perpendicularity now. This is also less weird to me than it would be if it happened on like Scadrial. Yeah, yeah, true. That's fair. Yeah. yeah. Kusikesh is just bonesmithic on a large scale. Yeah. Kusikesh I mean, is honestly, the last maybe. bonesmith. It's true. Maybe. I mean, bonesmith is a term that is going to apply to powers <laughs> beyond just like. The Vaughn Smith Radiant Orders, maybe what Kusakesh is doing would be termed by Chris as Vaughn Smithing. No, I, I think Vaughn Smithing is about the connection, not about yeah. perpendicularities. Yeah, but I mean, you know, like connecting to the people of the Eriali, maybe, you know, maybe there's connecting to the spiritual world. I don't know. Like, you could do a lot of stuff with connection shenanigans. Yeah. I mean, Ishar opens one with his Bondsmith uh, blade, and he just is like, yeah, I'm out of here. And that's what happened. I, I, I think he does that because he has access to a stupid amount of power. Yeah, because he has the blade. I mean, Dalinar... Because he's a herald with his blade. Dalinar opens a perpendicularity with his fists. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, like Dalinar literally grabs the spiritual realm and grabs the con and realm and shoves them together to make a perpendicularity. In a that's rude gesture. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yes. <laughs> Get united or else. <laughs> Dalinar. Dalinar. Dalinar's is literally described as just like grabbing the fabric of reality yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. shoving it together. Dalinar puts the other realms in their get along shirt. <laughs> I just don't know how they're going to leave the other places because this is the only way that makes sense in my mind if like something activates somehow and then just crap loads of portals appear and then they uh -huh. leave and they enter Shadesmar. I don't think it makes sense otherwise, honestly. So I just don't know how that happens on other places, but I'm sure there's other ways to do that, I guess. And also, you, I got to be honest, the mother could just be wrong that it's like honor's path, right? That it's honor's perpendicularity. Like, it's obviously yeah. a perpendicularity and a portal. It does not actually need to be formally honor's perpendicularity, right? I mean... 
yeah, they've been living here for 5,000 years, maybe just like cultural osmosis, yeah. they came to like think about this as yeah. honors thing when it's not. Yeah. I feel it would be silly if this is like the information Brandon gives us about it. Yeah. Well, yeah we're going to get the final version and this honors path thing is going to be completely taken out. <laughs> That's, I mean, that, that's, that's possible. That's possible. <laughs> that, that is, is very possible. possible. Uh, but, you know, that 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 seems like a, a silly mistake for Brandon to make. I think characters can make mistakes, but it's true. Brandon doesn't really have characters make, like, really big mistakes. Unless you're the Stormfather, and then you can't decide what you <laughs> well, call yourself. But maybe, maybe, maybe you're just lying the entire time. It's true. It's true. Do we have other Kusakesh thoughts? Because, like, Kusakesh is crazy here. I have another dumb fanfic thought. Good. <laughs> Hit me. What if the reason, like, the, what if there is, like, just one Kusakesh and it keeps traveling with the reality, becoming this bigger, like, chorus thing and getting more and more stuff, and the one is going to be, like, Kusakesh in, like, its final form? Mm, it's just, it's, I like it's, that. it's Building up enough power to become like a Done. shard equivalent object. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's a little bit of that with the idea of oh, you know, Iriali collecting experiences, memories encoded in the in investiture, Kyosukesh absorbing investiture, maybe absorbing the souls sure. of the dead, yeah, like yeah. all of that coming together in the same way that like all the Iriali are said to like come together into the one. Yeah. I have a much dumber Kusakesh idea. Are you ready? Okay. Go on. What, what if... This is the fourth land, right? Yeah. Roshar's fourth land. Is it what, fourth or fifth? No, fourth. they're going uh, to the fifth land. They're going to the fifth oh, okay. What if each land, Kusakesh gets another arm? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. That was, that was, in fact, much dumber. Yes. <laughs> I don't hate it, but it is kind of silly. <laughs> Funny. I kind of like it, yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, I have exactly four arms. I, I kind of want this to be true. It's just, it's not relevant to anything. It doesn't have cosmic implication. It's just the next time we see Kusikesh, he has six arms. Yeah, and then people will be like, he's Fain. He's Fain. He has six arms now. He's Fain. Hey, like maybe people the thinking sixth that one is Yolen. People were very excited that Kusakesh had four arms, and I gotta be honest, I forgot why people were excited about that. But all right, all right, let's let's. I have I have a, I have um sort of them. So okay, there's great. seven lands, right? Yes. Which which shard is associated with the number seven? Do we think? Do we know uh, which shard is associated with the number seven? That sounds like a shard that is very related to fortune, and you get seven, 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 jackpot! Hey! The slot machine shard. Slot machine. <laughs> Whimsy. Maybe that's gonna yeah. be it. Yeah, yeah, actually, that's a good point. That's like, a good we point. Have, we have a Dalmont is five, Honor is kind of ten, Odium is nine. Like, do we have a seven mm. shard? No, we don't have a seventh no. shard. No. We have a seventeenth shard, though. Mm, no, I don't think we do. Seven, seven's not one of the random numbers Brandon picks out and says like this is important because reasons. Yeah. Which honestly, I still hate. I still hate that Brandon no. does this. That he's like so Auto focused autonomy, on autonomy is probably one. I feel like this the, the the one feels like it could be like a virtuosity thing. Like virtuosity split herself to have different like experiences kind of thing, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Sure, that, that seems a little virtuosity. Yeah, sure. I, I feel like not, if you're talking about like short numbers, I feel like virtuosity has stronger ties to two. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. With a yeah. dual nature. Yeah, for sure. Kind of you know, we, we just have to wait for that card game that Brother Weiss is making. It's going to tell us all the numbers. It's not going to be all the shards. <laughs> yeah, so if, if you didn't see, uh, which I actually didn't at the con at all, uh, there's going to be a card game called Shards of Creation, and there was like a card of cultivation, and like the suits are a shard, right? A theme uh, with a shard? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Something like, Something like that, but not exactly like that. Yeah. It's uh, I, I know I know that they gave examples of like other similar games, and the only one that I remember is Spades. Okay. Um, and so I don't I don't know if it's going to be four suits. <laughs> either people furiously typing in the comments i can't believe it 
Yeah, if, if someone in the comments can explain sp explain spades to me, I'd actually be grateful. <laughs> I, yeah. I played spades like two times. Yeah, but put your comments yeah. below. I have one last Kusakesh thought. You, it's Kusakesh ship, okay? You just, <laughs> just mm. add IP to it. And Kusa, so, Kusa ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Kusakesh ship? Kusakesh ship. Yes, exactly. It's, it's, it's <laughs> destiny that Kusakesh becomes a spaceship. There we go. Should we maybe talk about Hoyt? <laughs> this feels like a very good introduction to the Hoyt part of this episode. That's right. actually true. Yeah. Yeah. I actually don't have that much about Hoyt. It's no. just one one thing that I want to I wanna bring up, which is kind of the idea. And it's not even about Hoyt, really. It's about the Iriali culture. Yeah, I, was, I think mm -hmm. we're going to say the same thing. Uh, the the idea that he is considered the trickster aspect, mm -hmm. and so there are you know the tri the trickster aspect of the one specifically, right? And so it's kind of this this mirror to the shattering, where Adonalsium split into a bunch of shards, each one of which represents a part of Adonalsium, and so kind of the idea that Hoyd in in this culture is treated a little bit the same way in that there are aspects of the one and he is you know now the honorable aspect or the 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 hateful aspect he's a trickster aspect which i think is a, a cool little thing about the the religion didn't uh like rock also refer to hoyd as like a trickster god or something yeah it was very it was pretty yeah. similar actually yeah yeah i find it interesting that the iriali have like they're like oh yeah Trickster aspect. Yeah, yeah, of course. But, Spun out of the one to create chaos. But uh, I do like the, but you couldn't just insult him by not serving him tea. I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, if anything, he's just going to make your life more miserable. So you absolutely, yeah, yeah. when a trickster god does that, it's like, I will be really, very nice to you. The Horn Eaters had a pretty similar thing. It, it makes sense. Hoyd's, he's, he's just so famous in starting religions, right? And you know, maybe that's why Kelsier doesn't like him. You know, think about it. Competition. It's competition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's unacceptable. The the Mistborn Era 4 is just going to be a and every religion in the cosmos will be either worshipping Hoyd or Kelsier. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. The only, oh, the and, only the one, kind of... and the one, the Ariali will be there. Okay. I mean and they they already the, kind of worship Hoyt. Everyone, kind of worship everyone, everyone. is gonna be wor worshiping either Hoyt or Kelsier, and half of those will also be uh, autonomy. <laughs> 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 Autonomy's just making fake Hoids and Kelsier. I like that. Right. It's good. I mean that of course, assuming that Kelsier doesn't become an avatar of autonomy. I don't know. This is this is the no. love triangle. This is the love triangle of the of the cosmic. Of era four. Hoyt, <laughs> nice. I think you need a bigger a bigger polygon for any relationship involving autonomy. The dodecagon. That just means of... that we can have a happy ending for everyone in a love triangle like this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I mean, you know I what am... they say like about some characters when you ship them into people because they have two hands. Yes. Think about how many hands autonomy has. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can ship actually, everyone with her. I was Good. thinking of the same thing actually. Good. Good. Uh, one interesting thing about Hoyd in this <laughs> is that he was there last year. So presumably that's between Oathbringer and Rhythm of War, right? So um, he knew a full year before this happened well, that these people would show up in... I guess that's how, true. How much, of, yeah. how much of these events do we think Hoyd knew would happen? Oh, that... that yeah, because that is an interesting thought that I always imagine Hoyt can like tap fortune and I always feel like he doesn't know exactly what's up. It is interesting that he knew that they would be there at this point. I mean, we, we know well, like, from one of the letters he sends to Frost that like he knew he was being pursued by them. Yeah. So it is from a timeline perspective, mm -hmm. it is notable that DL's mother had first manifested the shard blade a few months ago okay and then she has also spent a few months trying to find yim's murderer like from from a timeline perspective if hoyd was here 
a year ago. Oh, there's also the um, the woman that visited last month. You remember when that odd woman visited last month? She left me a letter. Oh, what's this? Let, let me let me see. What is, what is this talking something, about? Something something's off here. Where's the where's the one year odd. ago thing? Okay. Ah. Okay. This this is what's happening. You remember when the odd woman visited last month? She left me a letter. Please fetch it. That's the one with uh the male genitalia. Yes, uh, that's and, the letter that Hoyd left. Yeah, I was told I would know who to give this to, and then. It was only his signature and a crude depiction of male genitalia. And then the mother says, from the trickster aspect, he was here too last year. So he didn't leave the letter last year. He mm-hmm. had someone give the letter last month. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Who was that woman? Yeah. I wonder if it's someone we know. Someone with many rings whose room smelled like fish or something like that. Hold up. What should be like Axindwef? Y'all did remember that Many woman. Many rings does seem terrorist to me. Anytime there's rings yes. mentioned, for yes, sure. But it, it, also, it also made me think of the Pure Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A healer uh, skilled with herbs and whose room had smelled a fish from the creatures she had caught in the Pure Lake and dried. You'd come for tea each morning but had left a few weeks ago. So, so it's, it seems yeah. possible that she was possibly a ferrochemist, possibly yep. someone with access to metal mines mm-hmm. who had been to the Pure Lake, caught some magic fish. Yes, caught the magic fish. True, yes. And mm. is now or was like on her way out or something like that. You know what like the terrorist healer makes me think? Remember that nurse from Warbreaker? That that mixes is nurse, world hopper, true. Oh, interesting. Uh, I was I was thinking that this this might have been Axendweth. But would Hoyd work with Axendweth? When I listened to this, I was like Axendweth. I, I was for sure Axendweth. So, but she was also helpful in bringing the void spread. No, no, yeah. sorry. The the woman that is being referenced here, like she worked in like a, a place. Well, my, my yeah, head I, I don't know. I like time. the I like the Lemix's nurse theory. Yeah, yeah. That that's gonna be my head canon for the time being. Lemix's nurse. Do you remember Whose that that's a world hopper? Don't have. No, we don't. That is. Yeah, a I remember one. when she was like one of like the few world hoppers we knew. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And Lemix's nurse isn't. Wait, isn't that the Moose wife? Uh, n- apparently, like I thought so, but it has not been confirmed. Apparently, hmm. as of twenty seventeen. Oh wait, the Mo- the wife isn't here. She is in. We see her in Dalen in um, Rhythm of War in the Shades Mark. Oh no, I'm thinking of Felt. Shoot. <laughs> Yes. No, yeah. I don't, I don't think Ace, Ace, World Hoppers. Isla Din is not here. I don't think. I, I, I mean, if if Felt was Demua's wife, it would be interesting. But I don't think that's the case. <laughs> you know, Return can change their their shapes in many ways. Um. Oh yeah. So apparently, when there's is, since when is Felt returned? <laughs> Look. I mean, that's possible. You know. Actually, doesn't felt like have no. like some sort of spouse in that? Partner? That's that's what I was. Yes, that's what I was conflating. Right. Uh, I had remembered felt and his wife traveling together, and I was like, oh, felt wife, wife, demu, demu wife. I, I had <laughs> I had conflated demu and felt. Uh, I sorry, just just to get the fanfic headcanon of where I was going here. Uh, it was that demu's wife. Went to Nalthus, became returned, and became felt. Okay. I, uh, I see. I see. Wow. <laughs> that doesn't actually so, make sense because felt was in no. era one. But, no, because they're yeah. contemporaries. <laughs> yeah, so, so that would mean. He's a time uh, so traveler. I guess if too. we're going yeah. along this path, since. So that would mean that uh, felt is Demois' wife and Demois is felt's wife. <laughs> since yeah. they both have wives. So they're both. Hmm. <laughs> Do you, do you, are you entertained on this? are you entertained or is this like the most crazy thing you've ever heard this is 
maybe less crazy than that, but still completely wild speculation. <laughs> right. um, maybe it's like this terrorist woman, like her specialty was like studying medicine and studying medical like practices. Mm-hmm. And now she's world hopping to like learn about different medicine, medicinal practices on every planet. And she just like knows Hoyd and was like, sure, I'll do a favor for you. <laughs> maybe. Mm. I mean, I, I mean, he I did like save a bunch of terrorist people back in Well of Ascension, was it? Do I remember right? I, yes. I haven't actually read that book, yes. so I'm just going by what you guys said in other occasions. Yes. Oh, oh, right, because you have not yeah. read Well of Ascension. Nope, still haven't. Wild. <laughs> that's, that's insane. Yes, yeah, so maybe, uh, I mean, like, he maybe he has some like cultural stock with the terrorists for that. It doesn't even have to be that specific, right? Hoyd's been around for a long time. There are world hoppers. True. They've been around. Like yeah. it's it's fully possible that he just like knows some people who are true. But I like know. mean like why not make fun connections when we can if we are already like fanfic level speculating. Some of the wobs on Lemix's nurse is very funny because Brandon's like, oh, you're not supposed to be able to guess who the Terrace World Hopper is in Warbreaker. And then yeah. people did. And it's like, well, oh, it's because you people that? just kept guessing until someone <laughs> randomly lucked out. Dartboard <laughs> method of, of things. But yeah, apparently not Aesladen, which is honestly what I thought. But I, yeah, that's not confirmed. That's just a common Aesladen is Demo's wife, yes. Dem- that is Demo's wife, right. yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Does the, the terrorist felt. name are just to be clear, not felt. So I, yeah, I think she's maybe a separate terrorist woman who's world hopping to like study medicine on different planets or something. Yeah, yeah and, and she just someone Hoyd to knows. Own, yeah, own Hoyd a favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's got to be Lemix's nurse. <laughs> just hone in right on the deep floor. Put your comments below if you knew of Lemix's nurse <laughs> and knew that that was a world I mean, hopper. I I I think I think even knowing about Lemex at this point is kind of a tall order. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Okay. If you Let- remember, readers, Lemex is the guy that gives Viviana all the breaths because he's dying. Yeah, he had like two hundred breaths. Yeah. Wow. C- c- critical character, really. Which, which, so thinking back, like two hundred. That's that's a ton by like Warbreaker standards. Yeah. Coming off like. Sunlit, Sunlit man. man. <laughs> that's I'm like not, I'm not, yeah, two hundred B is two hundred B use. That's you know we are we are starving for investiture. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. not. Sigil's gonna eat the it. The power creep is even affecting the Cosmere. <laughs> right. Yes. Well, I mean, yeah. Like every you know, if if people pass on their rest before they die, like you're gonna build. Can up only accumulate. Be a, yeah, that's in be investing, right? That's yeah. That's the oh right yeah. The the <laughs> bankers are Nelphian and they're investing in breath stocks. Breath I mean, they the ones that w- Nalphys is the only one that has like customs for Shadesmar back yeah. in the day. So they they are definitely like ahead of the curve. And breath is an easily tradable unit of investor. I think we I think we nailed it, guys. <laughs> what what exactly did we nail? Because I like. <laughs> I am struggling with this conversation at the moment. <laughs> okay, okay, we, okay. We figured out who runs all the banks in Era 4, and it's Nalfians. I see. Okay. <laughs> and the banks are called investing because of investiture, because of breaths, because of breaths. Yeah. the five scholars, really. Invested. The five scholars did this. V- Vasher, Vasher personally did this. Started a bank. Yes. Yes, and notoriously was, a financial guy, and that, and that was called Peace Givers Treasure. <laughs> <Am I right? laughs> maybe, maybe this is what he still has been doing when he's like hiding out in Just the mountains. He's, he's a finance him. bro. <laughs> Yeah, you. They come to him at night, but and he just starts talking about NFTs and AI and crypto. Look, look. <laughs> well, he did. He did really make an artificial spread. If you think about it, any planet is going to invent NFTs. It's going to be Nalfus, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because you can only see the very slight difference. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Let's let's get out of this is, episode. Is there is there anything else in this interview to talk about? <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I, oh, actually, actually, there, there's one thing that I did want to talk about. There was how Galdon smashed a sphere and then like started drawing oh, aeons. Yeah. I'm going to assume that that sphere had something like purified door or something. Yeah. And so he could yeah. utilize it to do that. Yeah. I mean, this is like taking place shortly before Mistborn era two. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it yes. seems so like, like at this point of the Cosmere, it's pretty well established. I feel like by Elantrians that they know how to like bottle up door. Yeah, like they know how to bottle up door and take it off planet and use the magic on other places. It seems yeah. like we're far enough ahead that that's pretty relatively common knowledge among Elantrians. Like they could at least ask the Irie. I don't know who knows how Raiden's Elantrians and the Irie go, but they, they probably figured that out. That uh, I can't imagine Galadin would go off world and not know how to do that in some capacity. Right. Yeah. Right. How he got off world. Very open question. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Maybe we'll find out in Elantris free. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's probably where we would. Right. Anyway, that was all I got. Do you guys have any other <laughs> final thoughts? I, I don't think I can pull any weird tangents out of this anymore. <laughs> we got to two hours of the raw recording, guys. Nailed it. Yeah. I, I think I've peaked with the Crypto Broye still. <laughs> He's good at sneaking. <laughs> Famously. <laughs> it's true. He is. At least according to the yeah. I, I love mentioning that fact on Chardcast. Just like, hey, guys, you still <laughs> good at sneaking. One of like three facts we know about him. I think I think more people know about this from Shardcast than they do from the book. I would the absolutely believe that. Yes. Still want to do an annotations episode one day. You know, maybe in the gap between Stormlight Five and Mistborn Era Three, when we're like, okay, guys. You know, you know what we should do in the lead up to a. Uh... To uh, Elantris too, we should do a Badali necklace Aeon lore episode. Ooh, oh yeah, 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 yes. Excuse me, the what lore episode? Oh, Brandon you made whole blog posts with like entire lore about like the original like guy who like had the first Elantrian like granddaughter or something and became King Rayoshem. There's a crap load of lore. Actually. And it was like because I think it was like as each uh, like yeah. I don't think that was even the round, but as each Aeon was getting a Nicholas release, he like yeah. would post a summary about the Aeon with like yeah. Extra yeah. it was just like tons yeah. of history that's it's, not... it's where it's where we learned about the early, middle and late yes. like that's true. Uh, Elantris or Empire or whatever it was. Eras and about the of, yeah. eras which and about I, the Brandon, I don't think actually knows. Yes, the NFL. Yeah, yeah. And Rosak's like, don't what say, are you don't talking say NFL. about? That's, the National that's Football football league. league or something that's else. That's what it's in EFL. I it's not... Aeon Eni. Poo, poo. Yeah, the Eni fell. Yes. Yeah, the Wit Killers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The... Okay, I, now I need the Badad. <laughs> <laughs> well, stay, stay tuned, listeners, for uh, our episode on the Badali jewelry necklace lore thing. 2026. 2026. <laughs> 2026. Oh, and 2026 <laughs> will be Arcanum Unbounded Leather Bound, and we might get a Nalthus essay. <sighs> Finally. Hopefully. I like how I still had on our Shardcast spreadsheet the Nalthus essay, and that's been there since like 2018. <laughs> and, um, and I just put recording date when we get it lull. Yeah, I think that's yeah. what I have on there. Anyway, I'm so glad we can tell people about uh, just the ancient 2008 lore. Like 2007, 2008, yeah. 2009 stuff. I love bringing that stuff. Like <laughs> Sanguimancy. I love bringing Sanguimancy. Up. What's Sanguimancy? It was uh, one of the ideas that Brandon had for the name of Hemology before Hemology <laughs> became yes. Hemology. Yes. Because Ferrochemy was Hemology. Yes. Ferrochemy used to be called Hemology, but then Brandon decided. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> You're like, I, I, I have no idea what's happening. You know, maybe we should do an, an annotations episode because there there are some I, I think it's great. There's so like the 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 freaking like the, the trader, the Coloss dude, right? Human. Oh yeah, like yeah. Just, yeah, because that came what, from there. Because what was his name? It started I, with I a V, right? I've never been able to remember his oh, name. Oh no, 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 no. Because he 
Oh, what was his name? All right. Sorry, I'm I cheating. Think, I'm going I to think the... I should just do like an ancient lore Vershad. episode. Vershad. Vershad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he was, a, he was a traitor in whatever dominance and then the Inquisitors got to him. Yeah. But the, yeah. And, and it, see, that's the thing we miss with annotations is Brandon just like saying, Here, so here's this yeah, random we thing. More books, so. Yeah, just like here's just an entire thing. Yeah, we, we do get more. Look, we can't complain yeah. about not having enough books. That is not a thing that we can true. complain about in this fandom. <laughs> no. no. We have maybe the... He put out five books this year, guys. And when this airs, it's still That's 2023. True. It's all true. Yeah. He's, there's time for him to post, publish another surprise book. No, don't right. say that, Grace. Don't say that. <laughs> don't say that, Grace. <laughs> don't say that, Grace. I, I want a nice, easy quarter one of just us recording WAB episodes. Just WABs. Just WABs, yeah. We we also have a Hemalurgy episode and a Stormlight 5 predictions episode. So those are also in the bank. So we'll get those the first half of this year. We recorded Stormlight 5 predictions in june <laughs> and we don't know any of this so it's all wrong <laughs> when i think there was like one reading maybe there was like the prologue right we knew the prologue and maybe there was some calvin oh yeah because there was dragon steel 2022 that he did like a zeth reading yeah we had the calvin and zeth yeah, stuff. yeah 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 Guys, I, I definitely think it's time for Uzek as your character. Yeah, let's, maybe it's time before we go on another dungeon. I, I think it's I think it's way past time. I I, I just wow. like how we got to the Aeon necklaces. <laughs> just like Dude, I will I will never not talk about the stupid Aeon necklaces. I, I really do need now an episode where you guys just go over like the ancient lore, like the annotations and the I, I think it's a lot of fun. The, I think there, it, like, there's so much like cool little the shit in there. The problem is we actually have to go through that stuff and get like the interesting stuff out of them. <laughs> there's quite a lot yeah, of I them. I mean, it's been so long that like I would love to it's actually kind of interesting go and like, to go have through. an excuse yeah. to reread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's cool stuff. King Rayoshem. King Rayoshem, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like looking first... forward to that on who's that Cosmic character. <laughs> <laughs> this uh, is a challenge for you viewers. <laughs> be because they changed their names to be Ionic names and Elantris already existed. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, actually. They they found Elantris. They yeah. didn't build it. And yeah. then once they lived there, then King Rayashem's daughter or granddaughter or some crap uh, became the first Elantrian. Anyway. <laughs> This character is from Roshar. Menace. Tia Tom. Raze. Void in drag on a horse. <laughs> it's time for Who's That Cosmere Character? Ta. All right, listeners, you know what time it is. You sent an email to WTCC at 17shard.com, and I read each flute aloud. And after each one, our panelists have a chance to guess Who's That Cosmere Character? Let's begin. All right, this first one was sent in by David. Uh... Wonder well, I'll try to cast David, different David. Disappointing. Um, wow. Clue one. This character has children. Navani? It is not Navani. Aesodon. King Rayosham. It is not Aesodon. King Rayosham. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, sorry. Uh, I heard Navani and who else? I said Aesodon. Yeah. Navani, Aesodon, uh, Teravangian. It is not Teravangian. Ooh, that's true. Clue two. This character is a scholar. Uh, I'm going to go with Queen Savri, Teravangian's Ooh. daughter, and I think has... It. Going down the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's not Queen Savri. We don't know that she's a scholar. Uh, she seems smart. <laughs> <laughs> right, he, he left her in charge. She's probably smart. <laughs> I mean, if Teravangian did, it's probably true. We don't know. Uh, Adrotagia. It's not Azurtagia. We're just, we found a line. We're going to go through <laughs> all the silent gather. <laughs> hmm. Been a while since we heard that name, actually. Yeah, I want some death rattles in this book, you know? Yes. Yes. From our main characters, maybe? Like, we have a scene of Kaladin dying and he just gives the most ominous death rattle ever. I mean, that hey. would be badass when a main character dies. Like, I think Brandon is legally obligated to have a kick-ass death rattle for them. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> Rude. I love Color that. and his children. You know what? I'm gonna go. I, I was going to go with a character, and then I realized that I don't remember what he's called, which is very silly because it's like a, one of the more major ones. Mm. <laughs> you can describe, right? 
I- I'm gonna go with Kaladin's dad. Liren? Yes. <laughs> I like yes. how you forgot Kaladin's dad. I do like that. That's nice. Blue three. This character makes another character very sad. Tindwill. It is Tindwill. Wow, Ooh. nice. I felt it. I felt I- it. I didn't know she had children. She has yeah, so many was- children. She's... A- she oh, was part yeah. of the terrorist breeding program. Sorry, sorry. Ella, that's because Tindwell is a character in Well of Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, all you I know read. about Tindwell, all I know about Tindwell is like three facts. What she you know and Stazed kind of have a thing. Okay, true. She like true. encourages Ellen to become a dictator and yeah. she dies. Uh, those are true f- facts, for yeah, sure. These are factual. Yeah. Uh, but she also was... Uh, like one of the terrorist mothers who like was forced to have lots of kids. So yep. So now I know four facts about Tindul. Yeah, she has many daughters. <laughs> oh, nice. I like that. What are the other clues? Uh, this character will make a man or makes a man out of other characters. Uh, and this character's impact was felt for generations, but only appeared in one book. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I would agree. It's a good one. It's a good cool. solution. I like that. This one is from the siblings from the forums. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I've seen them. I've yeah, seen yeah, them on yeah, Discord. Yeah, no, they, yeah, <laughs> they, they make uh, some good clip things. They did a great clip thing of me for my birthday. It was very cute. Oh, was that them? Nice. Yeah, that was them. Mm-hmm. Clue one: This character is an arsonist. Wayne. Uh, it is not Wayne. He burned Ben's down the school, character right? Character from Dice Party. <laughs> 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 Dervish. Dervish. Oh I, I forgot the name of a, Dervish. I forgot the name of like a fairly major character again. The dust bringer that works for Taravangium. Malata. Malata, yes. It's not Malata. But like Wayne burned down that school, right? And Wax was like, yeah, that was a good call. Yes. In Lost yes. Metal. That was the thing that yes. I'm not just making that okay, great, cool. No, that that, that happened, yes. Okay, cool. Who too? This character Wait, hold it up. Them. No, you're not going to take my dervish guess. <laughs> <laughs> Moash. It's not Moash. Okay. Two. This character likes books. That's a very dangerous combination. Arsonist, Arsonist liking books. Likes books. Like, do we know if they, they like books in the sense of like, like reading them or burning them? <laughs> what about Yasna? It is not Yasna. Okay. Ooh. If you, yeah, I don't think if you set someone on fire, you're an arsonist, are you? Yeah, I wasn't sure, but like, <laughs> I, I think in this context, like, sets things on fire is like, or that is arsonist is being used to be like this person has set things on fire. Well, I, but what? Well, but that's not true, though, right? Because okay, my like, guess is gonna be Dalinar. It's not Dalinar. I'm that's... saying, I'm saying that is how I am interpreting this this clue as based off this character. I'm just saying, if you burn a book, are you an arsonist? I think the answer to that is no. <laughs> no, that's too little. It, it, you, you have to burn a building. Let's. It's actually. I I'm just googling the definition of arson. Oh, actually. So at least this definition is just property. So, so it it could it could just be a book. Okay, is it property corrected. like specifically a word for like buildings in English? Hmm? <laughs> no, it, no, it go it go it goes for both. It can no, be no, you no, know. no. The FBI defines arson as any willful or malicious burning or attempt to burn with or without intent to defraud a dwelling house, public building, motor vehicle or aircraft, personal property of another. Etc. I think okay, we're waiting so on you, else? Eric. I think Argentina oh. <laughs> already put this on the train. Uh, Alista. <laughs> this is not Alista. Clue three. This character is not from Roshar. Yeah. There goes half our guesses. Fifty percent of the characters in the costume, really. True. Likes books. Arsonist. Not from Roshar. Not a lot of fires. Yeah, I know, right? It's really not a lot. Okay, there's like I have like this vague inkling that something gets set on fire in like Hero of Ages. Yeah, because so Spook was a survivor Spook. of flames. I was thinking about that too. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess Spook, but that's it probably... is not Spook. 
I don't remember who starts the fire, but I'm going to go with Beldre. It's not Beldre. The citizen, Quellian. It's not Quellian. Okay. We've, we've run out of characters in that city. <laughs> this, this character has a pessimistic best friend. Okay, does Rayodan ever set anything on fire? I I, does he? I don't know. I'm gonna guess Rayodan. I mean, he it kind is of Rayodan. He kind of does set the library where they. Yeah, got that's, to. that's when this person says they burned. Like, he burned down the library. But okay, I don't know. okay. I, so I guess the books were burned after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, so uh, it was the first time he drew Aeon Aishi, which is the light and oh, heat. right, right. And and he had all that pent up door energy. And so the first Aeon that he successfully drew had like extra oomph. And mm. that happened in the library. So he didn't actually set the books on fire, which was, I think, uh, Galadon's dad's library. Um, so he didn't actually set them on fire, but he does like books. So, qu question. So, the definition, the legal definition says that arson needs to be willful or malicious. So, like, I don't know if that qualifies. Oh, I thought, I thought you said... It is not Aishi, it is Ihi, which is the... Oh, Aishi it's Ihi, yes. Oh, fire. yeah, 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 yeah. Aishi, Aishi, Aishi is light. Which is, by the way, one of the Aeon pendants that has a, <laughs> an article. Yeah. About King Rayoshan and his No, I don't was that one no, no I don't think no, that one. No, because King, King 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 Rayoshan is, is Aeon Rio. No, but I don't think it's mentioned in I don't think we had a I think it was just Ahi, Eni, and Omi that we have essays for for those mm. uh Aeon pendants. I don't think there's more than three. I feel like we had a couple more. Mm. We'll find out in two years. There's definitely, I'm looking at the compromise page, and there's definitely Badali necklace lore in this Aeon Ihi section. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ihi's definitely one of them, for sure. Mm. We're bringing it back. I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah, I know. I chose this one because it was topical. Oh, great. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. What were the other clues? Uh, let me see. Which I think I'll see the one left. Uh, one left. Uh, pessimist, uh, from Sal. Yeah. Nice. I was trying to make Rayodan work, mm. and I was like, "But he he accidentally sets the thing yeah. on fire." It's and then not I was like, oh, malicious. But, so, but I had misremembered what you had read. I thought you said willful or on like, I, I thought I thought the definition said either way. Yeah, for for some reason I thought the same that the definition was either way, but it's not. It's neither of those. Look, that's why I tried to be like. This author, the the person who sent this in, was using it to mean they had like set things on fire. I did give that copy on. Okay. Try to okay, <laughs> okay, Grace. That's fair. That's a fair point. All right, we're gonna go to our who's that cosmic character priority queue. Uh, which oh man, there's there's a lot of these in here actually. Uh, but if you support us on Patreon, uh, we will uh, get to yours faster than. You can make the queue, queue even sure. worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we, we did want to do a Who's That Cosmere Character episode, which we'd probably cruise through like several of these, but we didn't. So stuff came up. That's, that's 2023 in a nutshell. Stuff came up, guys. Yeah. So this one is sent by Disgraphic Programmer. Hmm. In clue one, this character is referred to as a father. We're the hurt. storm father it is not the storm father yes that is the statement taylor vast i like that it's not taylor vast <laughs> ishar it's not ishar i i like i like all these and clue two is not going to be helpful for you because you're all kind of on the same train this character is highly invested say <laughs> it's not say and yeah presumably not in the banking sense is it going to be like Ati. Is that your guess? Ati. It's not Ati. So it's referred to as a father highly invested. Yes. Um, I've already got my third guess in the chamber. <laughs> um, we got all the Cosmere daddies. Actually, I feel like we should ask, was this sent before or after Yumi came out? You can't ask for meta clues. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. I think I'm not going to say yes or no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Did you want to guess the father machine? <laughs> I, I wasn't going to guess it. I was just wondering if it's like the father machine. <laughs> it is the father machine. <laughs> 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 Thinks I hate it. <laughs> did say I'm going to look for the most unhinged one to read before okay. we started this. Oh I... no, no! I actually decided against the Lady of Scars one, and I thought this one, this this my, one wasn't the most unhinged. My my next one was going to be Rushek. Mm, I like that. I was I was trying that's, to think that's if there pretty were any that... like spread if I could think of any like a male spread that we know had kids, but I couldn't. Mm remember well enough yeah i gotta be honest i actually really love the rashek one because not only was he for some reason an actual father but he is definitely referred to as a father by the country by the country so i like yep. i like that that's yep. good it's 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 where i was going with uh with the say one as well yeah I, I'm, I'm so glad we were able to get like lord ruler's children on the bingo for this episode <laughs> True. We really got to put Look, together. I still like, think this episode thing. peaked at Brandon Altium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we maybe, maybe I need to make a list and I'll put Aeon pendants and like just buy to me shrimp, you know, just all the soundboard things like sailors yeah, yeah, on yeah. an infinite sea, you know, the usual stuff yeah. that we do on this on this great program that we do. <laughs> well, we do have a soundboard on Discord that we could fill with audio bites. Yeah. That's true. I mean, we do have a soundboard on Discord. Yeah. Clue three is this character killed a massive number of people. Rashik Clue still four, works. This character is extremely old. Rashik still works. <laughs> Clue five. The Stormfather still works. Yeah, the Stormfather does still work. <laughs> they, yeah, like these are very clever uh, clues. Uh, Clue five. I'm sorry to say this character is also arguably a prop. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. And then uh, they also write, I have the honor to be your vexing troll, but they got it. Clue two, baby. <laughs> Nailed it. I, I like to think that we all worked together with yes. Rasar pointing us in the direction of Yumi and the Nightmare Painter. <laughs> it was sent to August, by the way. Me making a dumb joke about the father machine and, and Grace Grace actually like, That's a good idea, it. actually. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, there's no reason for this episode to have actually been this long, but so if you made it to the end, thanks for watching. You can find us on 17 for all your news, discussion theories, and fun that you'd ever want. Uh, if you want to know what happened in Dragonsteel, uh, the, the con, not the, the book uh, company or metal or any of the other things. Dragon Although Steel some is. of the things that happened in some of these things were also covered by you know, the con. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Rasar wrote a great art article uh, on our website, 17char.com, which I already said here. Uh, yeah. You can find us on a lot of the social meds when we remember to post things there. Uh, I mean, you can we... find us regardless of whether we post or not. That's a good point. It's valid. We are on threads. People keep following us on like a couple of people every day. Follow us on threads wow. and we, we haven't, haven't posted, posted anything. anything. Nice. Nope. Good. I like yep. that. What else? Uh, you, you, you can like leave a review on iTunes. I think I haven't said that in a long time. So you, you can. You can leave a review on iTunes um, and say that you like this level of unhinged. Yes. Five stars. Or, or, or say that we don't or you don't. Yeah. You still give us five stars, though, in that case, uh, yeah. even if you don't like it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. no, so. you have to you have to give us a lot of stars so we know to like look at your feedback. Yeah, because yeah. if you give us three, we're going to be like, that's, you know, middling. We don't care about that. Yeah. Yeah. You're only allowed to like or dislike a thing. There's no that's room true. for nuance here at you all. You got to commit. It. You have to commit to the bit. That's what Vasher always said. It's true. You know, I say that because the the money in uh, Houndren is called bits. Mm. It's true. That, really? That, that, huh. Yeah, that's a true fact. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I think I think I put that on the copper mine personally. I'm pretty sure. I do not remember that. Yeah, I mean, I did my, it just my, like my... a few years ago. So. My brain went to Tashik, where yeah, they yeah. have like coin like they put their coins on a string yeah oh mm -hmm. the the coins are called marks but there's a smaller variety called bits mm. nice 
which is different from the Rusharan marks. Yes. 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 Because of cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. The bits, not, um, not serious. Yeah. God, what else are we doing in this outro? Uh, <laughs> uh, subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hit the bell. You know. Uh, yeah. we, we'll, we'll see you in 2024 for a lot of. I mean, what WAB episodes are not, not more. Hit. WAB episodes are not more on the rails, but I mean, they actually might be a little more on the rails than this one because at least we have like words of Brandon to go through, and if we spend too long on each of them, I do start getting annoyed because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think it would be hard to get more, much more of the rails than we were today. To be honest. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah. I, I'm I'm just waiting for five years from now when all of our episodes are like four hours and it's all just this. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're, that's we're, a problem. We're perfecting our craft, Argent. Yes, perfecting. <laughs> that's what it I is. Don't, I don't know if we should be though, is the thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it comes in waves where like post Stormlight release we get more like on the rails. That's and then, true. That is true. And then slowly goes up like it goes up and then the next Stormlight release comes and there's <laughs> we're just we're just like so desperately <laughs> waiting because like we need we need actual content to talk about. Because like if there's a whole Stormlight book, we can't go in this much detail on an interlude and be this no. insane. No. It's like there's ten topics there's... that we need to do right now because you all want to yeah. listen to it. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. Yeah. And we like make actual outlines, which this we didn't do here at all. No, we were not going to do like an outline for like a five pages instantly or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, see you in 2024, everyone. Have a happy yeah. new year. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Peace. Call.